This is a special presentation of WAXC Sports. Welcome back, everyone, to the Russell Do It Center countdown to kickoff here at the Sportsplex on homecoming night as the Wildcats welcome in the Chilton County Tigers and former coach Tal Morrison here at Benjamin Russell, the offensive line coach, been over at Chilton County for a few years now as the head coach and has this Chilton County team really playing good football. Randy, good to see you again tonight. Our whole crew here, minus Wes Coleman, uh, is on the road tonight, so we miss Wes. But Caleb Brooks will slide in for Coach Coleman and uh, and take his spot tonight. But Coach Morrison, Jake Phillips, former coach here as well, over there is his offensive coordinator. So uh, got to catch up with both of those guys before the game. And, you know, they're riding a three-game winning streak coming into tonight's game. And, uh, look, they, they – have a lot of special ties here to this community and really appreciate it, but they have one thing on their mind tonight, and that's coming out of here with another win. Well, just looking and seeing what they have across the way in comparison to what you and I saw last year as we went to Chilton County, really eye-opening, Brett. I think they've got over 70 players out. I see the skill level out there and uh, back at the quarterback and running back position. You can just tell that they've upgraded both of those. Could be the same young men that we saw last yeah. year, but just a lot stronger. And uh, Tal's one of my favorite assistants we've had here since I've been doing oh, this. Yeah. And I don't, I don't usually just say that just to, for people to hear me. He really was. And uh, I thought Tal did a tremendous job with our offensive line while he was here. I really loved his demeanor. I like the way he handled himself. Um, so I'm really proud that he's gone over and done what he has. You know, more importantly for us, though, tonight, from the Wildcat standpoint, you know, we got a lot of talent. We've got a lot of upside here with this Wildcat program. Um, it's been a mighty struggle the last couple of weeks. Uh, last week was abysmal. I don't know any other word to, to use towards that. Offensively, we couldn't get anything positive going. The defense did everything that they could to try to keep us in the football game and just couldn't find their way. But, uh, Brett, we got our captains out there tonight. Yeah, I'll let you read them off here, but the Wildcats do win the toss. Defer to the second half. Coons Corner, Deli, and Catering. Now, they're located on Hillaby Street in Alexander City. Let's just talk catering right now. Your next event, I want you to get in touch with them at Coons Corner Catering at 256 234 3557. Now, let's talk about that, Deli. I'm talking about early in the morning. Oh, you're going to love their breakfast and lunchtime. My goodness. Meat and three and some sweet tea. 256-234-3557. Loves clothes and her phone. Still willing to be seen with you in public. Depending on the location. Jamie at 14 and you. Available for a limited time only. Don't wait to make the memories that will last a lifetime at Walt Disney World Resort, the place where dreams come true. Book your next Disney trip with Fairy Tale Journeys. Call Suzanne Hayes or Kim Pritchard today at 256 825 2668. Everybody wins at Bice. Right now, you can lease a Jeep Wrangler 4x4 Unlimited Sport for just $349 a month. Listen up. Or how about a Ram 1500 crew cab leased for only $289 a month? Get in the game and score B. New Jeep Compass Latitudes are on the lot and lease for as low as $229 a month. No matter which play you choose, you're always a winner at Bice. Shop 24-7 at BiceChryslerDodge.com. Tapley's Appliance, home owned and operated by Tom and Louise Tapley, is located on Cherokee Road in Alexander City. Stop in and check out the Holland Gas Grill. It bakes, it grills, it steams, it smokes. It's great for cooking out no matter what the occasion, from tailgating to backyard grilling. The only grill guaranteed not to flame up. Also available, the DCS Gas Grill, and they have charcoal grills in stock as well. That's Tapley's Appliance, where they service what they sell. Walls Tire just a mile past the bridge on Highway 280 is the Lake Martin area's complete automotive solution. At Walls, you'll find a dedicated staff offering top quality service from routine maintenance to a full engine overhaul and everything in between. Brian Walls and the folks at Walls Tire are local folks that you know, and they provide the best service always at a fair price. Find out what the rest of the Lake Martin area already knows. Walls Tire is the Lake Martin area's complete automotive solution. Just a mile past the bridge on Highway 280.
The probate judge's office deals with important family issues like wills and estates and mental health issues. Experience matters. Melissa Reynolds has legal experience, is a longtime business owner, nonprofit executive director, and member of many civic and professional organizations. Melissa Reynolds is the right choice to be Tallapoosa County's next probate judge. This is Melissa Reynolds, and I am running for the office of probate judge for Tallapoosa County, and I would appreciate your vote on November 6th. This message is paid for and approved by the office to elect Melissa Reynolds probate judge of Tallapoosa County. Toothmasters here in Alexander City, dentist Dr. Joni Price. You're going to love her, I love her because it's all about quality, cosmetic dentistry, crowns, bridges. She is also a family dentist. Fillings, general dental care, lumineers, root canals, teeth whitening. That's my friend, Dr. Joni Price, dentist at Toothmasters in Alex City. 256 329 8401. From the smallest drippy faucet to drain cleaning to water heater replacement to gas lines to total systems replacement, AM Plumbing handles it all. Visit amplumbing.net today for the experienced, licensed, and insured pros at AM Plumbing. AM Plumbing, AM Plumbing, service at its best when you need it most. Run down our captains tonight here for homecoming. Number 37 down there, one of our captains tonight is Timothy Waldrop. Number 88, who's done a tremendous job in his first year with this Wildcat program, Wilson Hayes kicking the football. Big number 74 has played a lot of football here for the Wildcats over the years. That's Ahmad Williams. And we'll close out with number three, who may be our best offensive player yeah. on the special team side of the ball, and that's Kobe Crabb. Uh, Kobe has been dynamic. Uh, the Central Clay game, which I think is our best win so far this season. He broke that sucker open with a punt return for touchdown, and uh, we were able to take that on and win it. Yeah, and the rain begins to fall here before kickoff. As the coin toss brought you away by Scotty Gordon and Cornerstone Insurance at Financial Group, Auto Home Life and Business, excellent service and asset protection at competitive and fair rates. Check out Scotty Gordon and Cornerstone Insurance and Financial Group as, uh, unfortunately, rain – begins to fall here at the Charles E. Bailey Sportsplex as there is a mass of people still coming in uh, along the way. There's still cars coming down the road uh, across the way. So uh, another big crowd for homecoming tonight as always. Uh, Ter Terrell Owens, Hall of Famer Terrell Owens now on hand tonight as his jersey is being retired. He was recognized in the pregame and will be uh, continued throughout the game tonight, and we'll have Terrell on hopefully a little bit later on in the game up here to talk about his recent induction to the NFL Hall of Fame. And our good friends down there tonight, Brett, uh, Coach Steve Savarese, who is back um, for the recognition that Terrell's receiving, along with Alvin Briggs, who's Coach Sav's right-hand man at the Alabama High School Athletic Association. Great to see both of them. Uh, but probably long overdue for Terrell to receive this recognition yeah. here in Alexander City. It's not number 81 that he played in the NFL with. It's number 80. That's right. That was the number that he had here during his career at Benjamin Russell, and uh, they had a special team. Many people talk and uh, talk back about him not starting. Well, let me tell you, it wasn't because he wasn't talented then. It was because they really had a, a dynamic team offensively, and he was one of many, and don't feel sorry for him. He made a lot of big plays that year. As I remember sitting, I can probably go down there and sit close to where we used to sit. That's right. And watch That's these exactly games, right. Brett. And uh, Terrell went on to college, and I've said this how many times over the last 15 years with us doing program. Nobody outworked this guy. Oh, no. I remember Coach Carney, and he would come back, and he would be with us during the Christmas break. And we had those two-week span where we practiced every morning, and he'd be in there at basketball practice with us. I never saw a human being work any harder. He works out. And uh, Coach still. Carney used to make a stop, Brett, and just say, I want you all just to stop what you're doing out here and watch what he's doing on the sidelines. And he would be – jumping boxes and doing push-ups and doing other He's things. He's been obsessed with it his whole life. And it, and it always just hung out to me to say, you know, if you work hard at something, if you really take it to the nth, then you got a chance to be what he is. So congratulations to Terrell Owen. Find everything you need for the perfect outdoor living space at Russell do -It Center, like the Fire Rock Outdoor Conventional Fireplace, smartly designed masonry systems that are easy to install and are less than half the cost of a scratch-built brick-and-mortar fireplace. 
Weber Grills, the best outdoor gas, electric, and charcoal grills, which always come pre-assembled. Yeti Coolers, premium coolers and accessories that are the ultimate in design, performance, and durability. Russell Dewitt Center, experience and knowledge from the pros. You know who thinks all insurance is the same? People who've never had a claim, especially a catastrophic one. That's when you find out exactly what you've been paying for all this time. That's when you learn what type of person your insurance agent is. First Insurance provides you peace of mind, what you need, when you need it. First Insurance, first in coverage, first in value, first in our community. For all your insurance needs, visit firstinsurancellc.com or call 256-329-0888. Andy, perfect attendance at road games this season. How do you keep going? It's all about the fundamentals. You know, hands at 10 and 2. Also, got a new Napa battery and fresh wiper plates. My Napa guy, that's a solid dude. He always says you can't get to the top if you can't see where you're going. It's all about the blood, sweat, and cheese it again! Smoking <laughs> like a true road warrior! Yeah, yeah. Keep your champion running longer, stronger with Napa Know How. See Thomas Auto Parts on Green Street in Ellick City, East South Street in Davil, or Highway 280 in Sylacauga. What's behind the CA? A world full of opportunities. Where are you now? Where are you going? Where do you want to be? These are all important in determining your path in life. More importantly, why be ordinary when you can be extraordinary? At Central Alabama Community College, you can be anything you wish to be. Don't put your future on hold and don't settle for less than excellence. We are Central Alabama Community College. Central to you. Central to your success. If you're seeing the American cockroach, throw up the red flag. Ladybugs. Throw up the red flag. Ants and swarming termites. Throw up the red flag. And kudzu bugs. Throw up the red flag. That's red flag pest control. So the caution is on. Call Red Flag Pest Control today. I'm Scott Davis with Red Flag Pest Control. Celebrating our 10th anniversary. Call me today. 256-825-0430. Caldwell Electronics, your local Radio Shack dealer. They've got car stereos, amplifiers, and speakers from Pioneer, MTX, and Kicker. Boat radio and speaker installation also available. And introducing pontoon boat LED lighting installation, interior and exterior. Caldwell Electronics is also the number one place in town to purchase Page Plus wireless service with smartphone brands from Apple to Samsung to Motorola. Don't forget the large selection of computers from Acer and IBM and full service computer repair with virus removal and screen repair. Let the team at Caldwell Electronics upgrade your electronics today. You've probably noticed the new name and the new colors, but what isn't new is our dedication to helping you achieve your financial goals. As a mid-sized regional bank, we're proud to offer you all the advantages of a large financial institution with the personalized service of a small one. This is banking with flexibility. Our name and our colors may have changed, but our commitment to empowering our customers, employees, and the communities we serve hasn't changed a bit. So visit one of our Alexander City locations today. Valley National Bank. New name, new colors, same bankers. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Carlisle Heating and Air, located on Highway 280 in Kellerton, is your certified Bream, Fujitsu, and Air Oasis dealer. We proudly service all makes and models, and you can get a free quote today. We offer maintenance agreements to ensure your system is running properly. We can even improve your home's air quality. Call today and be comfortable tonight. 256-234-0019. That's Carlisle Heating and Air in Kelton, Alabama. We're about to get started here with the Karen Chanel State Farm Insurance first half kickoff. Wildcats win the toss, defer to the second half. Wilson Hayes on to kick left to right here to the Chilton County Tigers in their road white uniforms and orange headgear. This is a high end over end kick, going to be fielded at the 21-yard line. Wildcats going to come down and tackle him as he comes across the 30 up to the 31 as the rain continues to fall here. A light rain, not a heavy rain, a light rain here at the Sportsplex. It was anticipated, but a brief rain shower should be out of here very soon. Chilton County on offense first here. Randy, a very good-looking athlete at quarterback number 10, uh, Shaquem Lassiter. And uh, I'm telling you, you see this big young man, uh, he's a playmaker. Well, we saw him last year, but he was a sophomore, and uh, he didn't do very much. We had a very good defensive night there, uh, but he has grown a couple of inches and probably gained 30 pounds there in the last year, and they really look like they're athletic back there in the backfield. Yeah, they'll start first and 10 at their own 31-yard line. Send a man in motion to be Lassiter right side. Look at that hole, 40, 45, big, big ran up to the 50-yard line. This is a huge 
huge quarterback, one of the biggest quarterbacks we will face all year, Randy, athletic, and they like to run the sweep with him, and they went to the right side that time, and he picked up uh, 22 yards in a first down. Maybe a quarterback counter out of the four gap right in the B-hole, and uh, he does a tremendous job of just getting back into the secondary before we ever get a hat on him, so a big gainer for Chilton County to start this as they're down to the Wildcat 48. Blaster straight ahead again, man, a big burst, and, man, a huge lick delivered from the linebacker post, but he runs straight ahead and his hit at the 45-yard line, so he picks up about – Three, three and a half yards there. It brings up second half. Somebody came up like a rocket there from the Wildcats and really laid a headgear on Anthony him. Anthony Jones seeing some of his first action with the first unit for the Wildcats. Um, as we saw Waldrop start the football game, but Anthony Jones in there at linebacker now. They'll split everybody down here to the bottom. It'll be four wide in a diamond formation, second down and six at the 44. A little sidearm pass out here, 45. Good tackling out here as he only gets about a yard down to the 43-yard line. Pass complete out here to Mason Dennis. It'll bring up third down for the Tigers. That's what we struggled with, I thought, to start the season against Borgard, just throwing it out there and us coming off of blocks by the wide receivers. Ace Stowe's has no problem right here. Fights off a block, gets back there, makes the tackle. Third down, third down, and, down and three. Yeah, third and three. Shotgun formation. Lassiter takes it, going to run the option. They force him to pitch it in the backfield. He's going to turn the corner, 40-yard line. Holding's going to be called either that or a clip on Kobe Crab over here. So that will be a penalty against the Tigers and will come back, but they did a good job of trying to turn the corner there. Number 21 carrying the football, Cameron Wright. He's a senior tailback for the Tigers. Flag down around the 39. It'll cost them 10 yards from that spot. Rigby was in a good spot right there to take the quarterback out of the play, but nice pitch out to the running back. Anthony Jones trying to run him down on that sideline, couldn't catch up with him. Would have been a first down gain right there, but this one will be a spot of the foul call. It was a couple of yards behind the line of scrimmage or behind the first down yeah. marker, Brett, so they'll have it there third down and 11. Lassiter in the shotgun formation, sent a man in motion right to left. That's his tailback now back there. He's going to hand it to him right up the middle, and he hits a wall, and the Wildcats are going to drive him back on third and 11. And Picked up a couple of yards. It'll be fourth down for the Chilton County Tigers. And after that penalty, Randy, it moved them back closer to the midfield stripe. I would probably think they'd bring the punting unit on and try to punt this one deep. And they're talking through this. To me, it looks like they're keeping the offensive unit out there, Brett. Maybe fourth a quick down. kick. We'll call it seven or eight. And it does look like a formation where they may send the quarterback back there to do the kick. He will line up in the shotgun. And they may try to get him to jump and – now he's going to tell them to line up and punt. He's going to go back into punt. He wanted to try to see if they could draw them off sides, but Lasseter will go back into punt formation now. Takes a low snap, real quick kick, though, an end-over-end kick that's going to land somewhere around the 15, take a huge Tiger roll. And I don't know why he landed on that because Mason Dennis could have let that one roll probably another five yards. And that was a break for the Wildcats as he downed it somewhere around the seven-yard lines. But the Wildcats will have – their first offensive possession, and Randy, the last three weeks it has been less, I mean, really no other words to say, but a major struggle offensively to move the ball with any consistency. And you can call it all the way back to Central Clay. We had one quarter where we played well. That was the third. I think we put 21 points, maybe 28 up in that third quarter, but we struggled mightily the rest of the game. Hopefully we can come out here tonight ready to start because this first half has been even more of a struggle than the rest of the game. Landon Cotney stands at the three in the shotgun, going to hand it off up the middle, and he's going to pound ahead. That's good positive yards up to the 10 around the 11-yard line. So a good play there on first down straight up the middle. We've had a lot of trouble, Randy, between the tackles running the football. We're able to pick up about four yards there, second down and six. Good matchup just looking at our offensive front compared to their defensive front. They got about a 310, 315-pound guy right there at nose tackle, but really three down linemen that we're pushing against. And I would only still call six or seven in the box. This yeah. is different than what we've seen the last few weeks. Snap, going to hand off right side and tries to turn the corner. Nothing doing, man, and a vicious blow coming up off the end. Going to drop him there around the 11, maybe the 12-yard line. So maybe a yard there, second, third down, and five coming up for the Wildcats. Still struggling to get pushed consistently up front. Wildcats with a, with a third down situation coming up here. 
inside their own 15. Yeah, you hope to stay ahead of the change right here on that second down play. We don't do that. We don't pick up the two or three yards needed. So make it a third down and five in a tough game. Going to hand off counter play, and he's hit him. And it looked like he was going to be able to pick up the first down, but he was hit and driven backwards there right at the 15-yard line. So that's a three and out for the Wildcats trying to establish a run. You know, Coach Smith talked about it in the locker room. He said, look, he said, I, it didn't matter what everybody thinks. He said, we've got to come out and try to establish the running game, and we haven't been able to do it. And that's a three and out right there for the Wildcats. Well, Tristan Smithhorst hanging there with me, number 22, linebacker, yep. senior. Sticks the headgear right in the chest, and he drives our running back backwards. No gain there. Gamble with a big leg. Gets off a wobbly punt. It's going to hit at the midfield stripe. Take a wildcat roll down to the 40-yard line. It's going to roll out of bounds just shy of the 40-yard line. So Jacoby doing a good job punting that one out of there. Not his best effort, but still a good punt for most high school punters. Uh, gets it down there, but Chilton County, uh, still with really good field position, 7.25 to go here in the first quarter. We are scoreless as both teams have had the ball one time. Glad to have Caleb Brooks up here taking Wes Coleman's place tonight. Just some quick observations, Caleb. Well, right now you see Chilton County's doing a very good job on the offensive line, getting some push. And, you know, they've really been able to move the ball offensively. When they've been running the football, they had the quick pass that we did a good job of coming up on. Here they go again with another quick run, and they're able to get over to the right side for about 15 yards. And, you know, you could have expected this coming into it that Coach Morrison is going to have his offensive line ready, and they're moving the football right now. Yeah, that's going to be number 10 uh, once again. Uh, the the Shaquem Lassiter. And he's down to the 39-yard line. This is a big kid and a very athletic quarterback. He'll line up in the pistol formation, takes the snap, going to hand it to his tailback, and uh, he's going to be hit, going to bounce off inside the 35. And uh, right now, Randy, it's just not physical uh, up front on, on either side of the football. And um, Right now, Ch Chilton County looks at it. Uh, with a quarterback that can just pound it straight ahead. Right now, we don't have an answer for him. So yeah, far. it's Kashari Ross getting the first headgear in. Can't wrap up and get him down. So a seven-yard gain there on first down. Staying ahead of the chain, second down and three. Going to keep it right up the, the middle. Lassiter uh, just moving that pile like Cam Newton used to do at Auburn. Uh, just a big physical running uh, quarterback that can just take it and push guys ahead with his offensive line. And one thing about Tal Morrison, Randy, he's going to coach, as uh, Caleb just said, as Caleb played for him, he is a physical coach. He coaches his offensive linemen to be really physical, and you can see right now uh, that's what's happening is they pick up another set of downs, first down at, their, at the Wildcat 27. Real quickly, uh, Laster's going to swing a pass out and throws it's complete. He's going to lose two or three yards there, not – not his best effort as he threw it almost into the ground. They probably would have been better off to just let that one fall. So Yeah, about a three-yard gain, they'll call it, second oh, 13. Yeah, we'll roll under six minutes to go here in the first. We're scoreless here on homecoming. Benjamin Russell taking on Chilton County. And their quarterback, what do you give him, Brett? 6'2", about 190 pounds oh, back yeah. there? At least, at least, big kid. Two wide to the top, one to the bottom, back here at the Wildcat 30 now, second down 13. We are scoreless here, 543 in the first quarter. Going to take it, hand off to his tailback. He's got some room in the middle. Brett Pitts trying to ride him and bring him down, but he, he takes Brett all the way down to the 22-yard line. So uh, Brett Pitts kind of hitched a ride along there with Cameron Wright, and Cameron Wright's been running the football really good as well up front. Third down and four coming up. He picked up about seven yards there on – on that play, actually, they'll call it third and five. We're getting pushed around. Oh, there's no question. I'd like to it. add a little more to that, but there's not much to add. Yeah, on both sides. Pistol formation. Going to play action. He's under pressure that time. And there's a hold, and they've got him not even scrambling, kind of and he's going to run like out of it. 25-20 and down to the 15-yard line. We, we did get penetration that time, and the flag probably should have hit the field. Should have. And did not. Pulled his whole right arm back. Yeah, there. Our – Defensive end was back and had beat the uh, right tackle for Chilton County. Just a tug on the jersey and a very good play by Chilton County. Did not let him get back there and make the play. And first down. Just passed up. So a very good play by an athletic quarterback to pick up the first down without the call. Absolutely. First down coming up for the Tigers. 
And he's just going to go right at him again. He sees something over to the right side, 10, 5, and dives inside the 5 to the 4. Randy Coach Morrison is looking at this right now and watching film, and they say, look, our best guy is Shaquem Lassiter. We don't think anybody matches up with him one-on-one, -on -one, and we're going to ride. He's going he's gonna to carry the football as much as he can withstand tonight. And that right side of the offensive front is really manhandling our left side of the defensive line, getting easily back into our linebackers in secondary before we ever get a hash on. Wishbone formation, first down and goal at the four. Going to hand off right side and power head. He's chopped down at the two. Yard line, maybe the one, and it'll be second down and goal coming up for Chilton County. <laughs> Thank you, Coach Sav. I appreciate Glad it. Glad to have you, Coach. <laughs> coach Sav, Executive Director of the HSA, former coach here, stepping in to say hello as he moves on. Second down and goal, Wildcats get penetration but hit the wrong hole, and he's going to go in for the touchdown. And Chilton County finds themselves up six to nothing, 406 to go here in the first quarter. And I'm gonna tell you, they took that ball from the 40 yard line and went directly at us and went 60 yards for a touchdown. Uh, this is what you call a, a thorough whooping right now. I'll add a little more and I'll try to um, mince well, I mean, I'll try to mince words here moving forward. But the first two drives and what we've done offensively here tonight. It's not physical. Nothing else you can say. The kick is up and good. Chilton County leads it 7 to nothing. That is your Bice Motor score with 4.06 to go here in the first quarter. And uh, Tal Morrison, former offensive line coach here, now head coach at Chilton County. Jake Phillips, the offensive coordinator, Randy. Uh, and, and Jake obviously sees the uh, uh, sees the weakness. And, and, and they're going to put it in this kid's hands. He's 6'2", probably like you said, 190 pounds, 200 pounds. Big physical running quarterback, and uh, right now they don't have to put the ball in there. Very nice scoring drive there, Caleb. Yes, yeah, seven plays, 60 yards, three minutes and 21 seconds, and really did it all running the football, which is something that we've really done a good job defensively. But so far tonight, Chilton County's really taken it to us up front. Yeah, they have. It's just been a uh, – Caleb, give us an idea. Good. What does Tal do during in-game preparation – that you think they're seeing over there because I know you've been there many a times. Well, I'm going to tell you, right now they're really just lining up and running right at us. You know, Coach Morrison does a really good job with teaching combo blocks, and they've done a good job of doubling on the nose guard pokey and getting up to our linebackers, and they're really getting up to our linebackers, able to get push, and that's why you're seeing five and six yards every time they snap the ball. Chilton County to kick off. Bill line drive. Fielded at the 18, going to bring it straight up. That's Nick McGee, 30, 35, 40, and going to be run out of bounds at the 42-yard line. Nick McGee, very talented athlete for the Wildcats, uh, dangerous in the, the passing game and the return game. He and Kobe Crabb have been our best two offensive weapons this year. And uh, the Wildcats will start with good field position at the 42-yard line, but uh, this is four weeks in a row that uh, it has been less than stellar uh, from an offensive standpoint. And that time, we haven't seen our defense really get pounded straight ahead, even in these losses, Randy. Uh, but that time they were out physical on that drive, see if they can make some adjustments with Coach B. First down and 10 for our Wildcats at the own 42. Going to hand off up the middle, and there's a good little hole, and then gets shut down right there as he gets to the second level. Got about two yards there, Keaton Young off the left side. It brings up second down. You know, just watching the matchups outside, you know, there you, you mentioned Nick McGee, and for me, um, he had nine catches or he had seven catches for 94 yards against Central Clay, and I, I would like for us to target him a lot more than we do, I agree. Brett. And um, I like his matchup out well, wide in a one-on-one and uh, to, to give him a chance how much space. to make a good play. They're, they're giving him an eight or nine-yard game. they're going to look at him right there. He makes a great catch at midfield, 45, 40-yard line, still on his feet. This kid right here can't touch the ball enough. You called it, Randy. He is a playmaker. He is a He's a mismatch for most everybody they play against. You got to get this kid to football. Catches the ball well, six foot two, about 160 pounds. Um, runs great man, routes. He does, man. Does a great job on third down of finding himself open on comeback patterns he and really other looks side like line a D1 patterns. Receiver to me. He, he looks like he put 20 pounds on that he could. I yeah. do. I agree with you. Keaton Young going to power it ahead, and there's going to be a flag coming in, usually in the in the vicinity of Holden, uh, as he move the ball. That's a good run of about five yards, but. 
Either that or a face mask, usually, when it comes into the middle of the thing. So, a personal foul. This will be a face mask yeah. against Chilton County. Uh, it'll be 15 yards tacked on. Usually, the umpire has two calls. It's either a face mask or a holding penalty. That time, somebody for the Tigers came in and grabbed a handful of face masks. It was a good run of about four or five yards up the middle. Randy, I'm going to go back to Nick McGee along the right and the left side. The defensive back is playing way off of him. But he is a talented guy. They, they got to find a way to keep him consistently involved. In well, the they got two deep safeties back there, so they've got them really in a, a zone package. You don't see them matching up man to man. You know, I look down here at Ryan Willis right Same now, and deal. Ryan's got someone 15 yards off of him. Um, you just think that you look at Zaystos, and these are just things of observation up here. Yeah. Zay does a good job in stalk blocking. He does. Uh, Zay's physical. Um, if Ryan can get something around the sideline, any type of wheel pattern, he can match up right here. There's a 12 to 15 yard gainer that's sitting there, um, as long as the stalk block's yep. good. And and I'm looking at our matchups compared to their corner, and I'm trying not to stereotype, uh, but I like them here tonight. No, I agree with you. First down and ten, hit the Chilton County 22 yard line. They're going to walk a guy up here. It's going to be a pump fake. Landon's going to go to the end zone, and that's interference. They had him draped around looking for Ryan Willis. A good thrown ball by Landon Cotney. He would have caught that for a touchdown. So Chilton County said, look, we're just going to tackle him in the end zone and, and get a pass interference. So uh, another penalty against the Tigers will move the ball inside the 15-yard line. Uh, trying to split that two-deep safety package back there, and he does a really good job of splitting. He gets on top of the corner. Uh, the corner can't stay behind him. A well-thrown football, but I'll go back to what I said originally. You got one corner out here, and you got a safety 15 yards back. That's right. You see Zay Stowes could have actually easily been spotlighted right there. Pass out to him. Yep. the 12- to 15-yard game before anybody is even close yep. to Zay um, on this pass play. So I think there's a lot that we can do down the sidelines just looking at the way that they're aligning right yeah, now. Yeah, and they're splitting Gamble out too, Randy. He's 6'5", 220, and nobody over there matches up with him. I mean, nobody really we play matches up with him uh, each and every week. So he's a guy that can line up at receiver and H-back. First down and 10, ball is inside the 15 down to the 12. So first down and 10 at the 12, and Landon will go in the pistol formation. Two receivers down near the bottom, one long to the top. That's man coverage up there for Nick McGee. Takes a snap. He's looking over the middle. High pass tipped incomplete. And Nick McGee, man coverage, I would have gone to the corner that time. I mean, you, you run it to the corner and you get make it a jump ball with him. He's going to win that, I would say, ten times out of ten against who's matched up with him. But chose to run a slant. Uh, and they tip it away, it brings up second down. Still a good thrown football by Landon. It, he loses control of it but realizes that he it doesn't have a passing lane, Brett, so he puts it up high enough yep. that nobody can just intercept this thing in great field position. Same so, coverage. Uh, live to play another play. Second down and 10 from the 12-yard line. Landon takes the snap, going to hand off. No, he's going to pull it. Great lane, 10, 5-yard line, down to the 3. And, you know, one thing – uh, as he picks up, I think, a, a, a first down compliments at UAB Cardiology Associates. Coach Smith has begged him. He said, you've got to pull the football. He said, you're leaving way too many yards on the field each and every week, and you see what happens when Landon pulls it. He gets down inside. It's going to be third and inches. Get picked up a, a, right at about nine and a half yards there. Quarterback sneak, I hope, Brett. Yeah, under center, third and less than a yard. Nobody matched up over the center here. You they're see that? Walk a backer up. I'm going to hand off and find Keaton. Three, two, one. He's in. Touchdown, Wildcats. Keaton Young off the right side, and it's seven to six. Extra point up coming from Wilson Hayes, and that was a lot better looking drive that time. And look, throw the football, man. We've got mismatches all over the field. Mismatches all over the field. Going to have to throw it. I'd love to see Landon have a. Huge night throwing the football tonight. And a better job by the offensive front there. Did get good push, push on that play. But even on the four or five-yard gainers, that's staying ahead of the chains yeah. and, and opening up a lot of possibilities I when agree. you got second down and five or four rather than second down and 10 or 11, which we've seen a lot the last couple of weeks. There's the snap, the place. The kick is on the way, and the kick's good. Wilson Hayes has tied the ball game up seven apiece. That's your Bice Motor score. Jackson Drugs, located on Cherokee Road, is geared up for warm weather with cool gift items, beach bags, and beach attire. The latest clothing, fashion, gift, brick and brack, wedding gifts and graduation gifts, bracelets, necklaces, gourmet food items, the latest cookbooks, baby section by Melissa and Doug, and Auburn and Alabama paraphernalia, 
Roll Tide and War Eagle from Jackson Drugs on Cherokee Road. Call Alpha. Hunter Price is Lake Martin's Alpha agent for all your home, life, and auto needs. Hunter Price's team is dedicated to fitting your coverage needs no matter what the family needs are. With the strength of Alpha's full range of insurance products, Hunter can customize their plans to fit your needs. Hunter Price can also handle your commercial needs as well. For the best service in the Lake Martin area, call Alpha. Call Hunter Price at 256-377-4955. We are Debt Relief Agency. We help people file Chapter 7 and Chapter 13 under the Bankruptcy Code. This is Marcia Mason, your local Lake Martin Bankruptcy and Social Security Disability Attorney. Mason Law Firm is located at 217 Madison Street in Alexander City. Call 256-329-1313 to schedule your appointment today. All initial consultations are free and strictly confidential. No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be provided is greater than that of other attorneys. Benton Clearing and Grading is Cody and L.D. Benton. They get your job in sight. Moving dirt is a clean job to them. Clearing a lot for your home or business is what they do, and they do it right. Call L.D. or Cody today at 256-397-2531 or 397-2532 for a quote today. I promise you, they'll do the job right. That's Benton Clearing and Grading. Holman Floor Company has been serving Ellick City in the Lake Martin area for three generations. We specialize in the sales and installation of hardwood flooring, tile, and carpet, as well as hardwood floor refinishing, both residential and commercial. Come see us on Highway 280 or give us a call at 256-234-6071 and give us a chance to earn your business. Abernathy Farm Supplies is located in the Alexander City Shopping Center right off of Cherokee Road. Now Gina and Jim Ed Abernathy invite you by today. They carry a little bit of everything when it comes to your farm, your ranch, your home. I'm talking about feed, seed, fertilizer, year round. Gravely lawnmowers. You're going to love this lawnmower here for your lawn. And a whole lot more. But it's all about service at Abernathy Farm Supplies, Alexander City Shopping Center. For the most complete real estate service, Riverbank & Trust has it all covered. Whether you're purchasing land, a lot for future construction, or buying your dream home, Riverbank & Trust can help. With conventional, jumbo, VA, FHA, and USDA loans with competitive interest rates, Riverbank & Trust can close your loan from start to finish in 30 days or less. Let Melanie Fochi, Randy Dawkins, Abby Guy, or Phil Blassingame put their nearly 100 years of combined experience to work for you, simplifying the buying process. Riverbank & Trust, for complete real estate service in the Lake Martin area. The door is open, the beer is cold, and the biscuits are hot at Foshi's Watts on Dable Road in Alexander City. Fishing season is in year-round and live bait is available. Non-ethanol gas is available along with propane and pellet ice. So come on by and see what we're all about, where the kitchen is open Monday through Friday early at Foshi's Watts on Dable Road in Alexander City. And tell them old Katie sent you right here from the front porch, WAXC TV and that type of coverage. So they're going to sit back there in that two deep zone. So, Brett, I think Landon's got a chance to have a huge night. Yeah. Pooch kick down to the 10. Good kick by Wilson. Going to bring it out of there. Take on a block there and uh, bring it out here to the third. Broke out of a tackle there and up to the 33-yard line. Man, that kid really did great, Mason Dennis. I'm going to tell you one thing you can notice early in this game is that Coach Morrison has changed the culture at Chilton County couple years ago, we really went there oh, and out-physicaled them. And right now, they're really taking it to us. We had a good drive right there offensively. But so far, yeah. on the defensive side of the ball, they've just really been out physical Well, and I'm going to say this, Randy. You remember last year over there, we struggled to move the football in the first half against them last year. Yeah, we did. And, I mean, I had to, we picked a pass off. And, you know, it was, it was tough in the first half. Ended up moving away from them in the second half. But he has, like Caleb said, slowly but surely changed the culture. And they've got a big quarterback here. We grab him, though, in the backfield. That's the first time we've been able to get our hands on him and drop him there. I didn't catch the number. Markwell Jackson. Markwell did a fantastic job of getting him down. Yeah, he's able to reach around a block from the right tackle, grab onto the jersey, and hold on for dear life. Brett Pitts comes across and finishes him off. Uh, but we'll call it no gain on the play. Minute 23 to go here in the first. Tigers and Wildcats well, knotted up at seven. 
Second down and 10, Chilton County with the football with their own 32. Sometimes you just have to man up and get challenged sometimes, and the Wildcats second down and 10 here on defense. Shotgun formation, they false start. They tried to do a little hard count, and Chilton County going to be guilty of a false start penalty there. Shaquem Laster, though, it's clear and evident they're going to ride him tonight. He's going to try to run this football. He may, run, he may carry it 40 times tonight, Randy, by the time this is – all said and done, but he is a he's a load, but uh, they've got a good running back back there and Cameron Wright as well that can carry it, but they're going to spread it out and go empty here. Three to the top, one down here to the bottom. Laster takes the snap, and he's just going to run it straight ahead, and the Wildcats, Gonzo runs him to the corner, and then Brett Pitts comes up. Actually, it's uh, Ty, Ty Brown that comes up and knocks him out at the 31-yard line from his safety position. So brings up third down play. He's going to maybe pick up a yard. It's going to be third down and 12. Yeah, Gonzo in good position out there but loses containment. Um, kind of gets suckered inside. Good job by Ty Brown to come across, make that stop. Yeah. Third down, they'll call it 12 on the board at the 31, Brett. Gonzo going to blitz from this side, and he's got him back there. He gets out of it, though, but Brett Pitts hits him. Man, what a shot. Brett Pitts delivers, but he puts it on the money up here at the 45-yard line and completes it and moves the chains. Brett Pitts really laid it to Lassiter back here, but he delivered a strike up here to Mason at the 45-46 yard line, and they moved the chains. And we we have two defenders right on top. I think My it's Gonzo. Goodness. I think it's Kashari Ross at right end. Uh, the blockers are call. in between he and the quarterback. Quarterback makes a quick move out, throws it across his body, a strike on a little – Curl pattern right there in the middle of the field, and he picks up a first down gain. Just a great play by an athletic quarterback. Man in motion right to left. Laster's going to run it straight ahead. He's got some room, but Brett Pitts comes up and drops in on a penalty play here. Flag coming in. It's got to be a holding call against Chilton County. 17 seconds to go here in the first quarter. It's 7-7. to That's your Bice Motor score. We'll send a shout-out to Dr. Vic Hamilton. I haven't seen him in a long time, and they listen every week, and he got on to me Saturday. Uh, at this dove shoot that I was at. And he said, I love listening to you guys, but say the score more. You know, it's crazy that you get into the game, and, you know, you and I try to focus on making sure we say it enough, but we're going to work on that. Uh, Dr. Hamilton, good to see you this weekend. Glad you listened to us. Thanks to all of you that listen to us every single Friday night here on the Wildcat Football Network. It's 7-7 seven to seven here, and that penalty is against the Tigers, Randy, and that will move them all the way back to the 36-yard line. So that was a major distance penalty. Huge penalty. Two to the top, one down here to the bottom. And Lassiter now on first down and 20 from their own 36. Will go pistol formation. Takes the snap. Going to hand it off to Wright. Wright cuts back inside 40. Spins out 45. He's a tough running back. He picked up 10 yards there, and that will end the first quarter. There's an A&M Plumbing timeout on the field. Your Bice score, Tiger 7, Wildcat 7. You're listening to the Wildcat Football Network. At Lynch Nissan of Auburn, you get a great deal and a great deal more. At Lynch Nissan, we get it. You know what you want, and we got it. Like the new Frontier with a $2,000 Nissan rebate or 0.9% financing for five years. And the Nissan Titan, now $10,000 off MSRP. Or enjoy 0% financing for five years. Plus, Titan is backed by the industry's best full-size truck warranty. Five years or 100,000 miles, bumper to bumper. At Lynch Nissan of Auburn, it's a good day for a great deal. Brown Fabrication wants to wish the players, coaches, band, dance team, and cheerleaders of the Benjamin Russell Wildcats good luck this season. We also want to say congratulations to Katherine Crutchfield of the BRHS Wildcat Cheerleaders. Our prayers are for an injury-free and successful season. Go Wildcats! From Brown Fabrication on Highway 280 in Alex City. Game day. Last season you were watching football at the mercy of that loathed cable company and your weird roommate with the ornery chinchilla. But today you're going to watch wherever the wild you want. You go here, Wild Wind Cafe. They've got all the games on more screens than you can count. And cute roommates. This is just the wild you need. So go wild, super fan. We can't help you choking QB, but we do have cold beer. The sun has always powered life. 
And now it powers our latest innovation to heat and cool your home more efficiently. Introducing the world's only solar-powered home energy system, which saves you up to half off your heating and cooling bill. The future of home comfort is here now at Farnell Mechanical. Get the latest technology at Farnell Mechanical. Lennox, innovation never felt so good. Morris and Haynes Law Firm in Alexander City are proud members of our community. Our team of dedicated employees live, work, and support our local communities, and we are all actively engaged in our hometowns. Just like all area players, parents, and coaches, we are committed to the betterment of our local area and want to wish all of our area teams the best of luck this fall. The Morris Haynes Law Firm, a proud supporter of all area athletics. Expected or not, the loss of a loved one is difficult. Put your family first by planning ahead. This is Joseph Dean, new owner of Alabama Funeral Homes and Cremation Centers. We are a full-service funeral home with an on-site crematory and cemetery. Whether your need is immediate or you would like to plan in advance, our experienced, compassionate staff can assist you in designing an enduring memorial experience, burial or cremation. Alabama Funeral Homes and Cremation Centers on Highway 280 and Camp Hill or online, alabamafuneralhomes.com. Water and plumbing are far too powerful to fight alone. If you have a problem with your plumbing or your water, you're going to call the professionals at Armstrong Holly Plumbing, 256-392-3809. That's 256-392-3809. Armstrong Holly Plumbing does it right the first time, and they guarantee it. Clog drains, leaky faucets, or replacing old fixtures, it doesn't matter. Call Armstrong Holly Plumbing now, your hometown plumbing company for over 10 years. If it's leaking, stinking, or not draining, call Armstrong Holly Plumbing. Good night, boss. See ya. See you tomorrow. Bye. When you're a business owner, your mind is always on the job. Anything before I go? All set. So is ours. At Frankenmuth Insurance, our independent agents work with you to customize coverage, improve safety, and help prevent losses. Let us take some of the work off your plate. Start a frank conversation with your local agent. Second down and nine, high snap. Laster's going to keep it. Man, great job breaking it down, but he's going to cut it back this way. Wildcats trip him up and tackle him in the backfield around the 43-yard line. Coming up to make the stop is Denzel Green back here at the 44-yard line. And, you know, Laster, Randy, the play was designed to go to the left, and he kind of ran into a wall, stopped, and came back this way. And that's a dangerous part of a dual-threat quarterback, but – we had good containment on the back side. Denzel's only a junior, so you may think I'm crazy here, but uh, I've seen the same size kids, and I'll think of a Brandon Thomas back in the yeah, day. Yeah. Denzel, when he run recognizes, yeah. he's very, very good. He sits back there at safety, here and sometimes um, he's not able to make it. What Stream. a great play call here by Chilton County. Well, we but defended a good job, really well. Uh, by Brett Pitts in recognition. But I want to go back to my thoughts right there, Brett. Um, sometimes a guy that's back there at safety – can't recognize the run or he's caught up in coverage and he can't make the plays or he can't do the things that he's dynamic at. Do you not notice that? Oh, yeah, aggressive. Denzel's yeah, got aggressive. very good Gr closing speed. He's aggressive when he recognizes, like you said. And uh, so next year I wouldn't mind or even moving forward if you have some opportunities to have him an outside backer making some he plays. He can move up to that. I think that he could maybe do that. Hey, they I'm not a coach. But. Well, hey, that's a good observation. Punting situation and a punt almost got it. He shanked it really bad. It's going to come out. I don't think it made it to the 50-yard line. I mean, this is going to be maybe a two- or three-yard punt by the time it's all said and done. The line of scrimmage was at the 45. Where did they mark it out? That's no way. There's no way that ball went out down at the 43. It went out up here at the 50 at least. 10.37 to go in the first half, tied at seven. Still good field position as he shanked it. Wildcats, though, Randy, on that was a good play call by them on I third so down. Too, yeah. And and really was able to get uh, containment over here. Had the, had the right play call. Jake Phillips did a good job calling that one. And uh, Wildcats, though, on defense, Johnny on the spot. First down and 10 at our 43. They're going to walk up two backers in blitz. Handoff up the middle is the biggest hole we've had in a long time. Midfield 45 down to the 42-yard line. Good running by Keaton Young. 
down to the Chilton County 42-yard line. Picks up a first down. Compliments of UAB Cardiology Association. Very good blocking on the right side of the front. Ryan Green, Joe Young right there at the center. We have a pulling guard and Ahmad Williams and really running well down the field. Couldn't find anybody to get on to, but if Ahmad Williams is able uh, to allow Keaton Young to use him, and we may could have uh, gotten that one into the end zone, yeah. but uh, couldn't get quite get on the safety. But we'll call it a one-yard gain here on first down. And actually, yeah, on, on that, that quick to the line of scrimmage, and uh, hurry up, only picked up a yard, like you said, Randy. So we'll slow it back down. Did you see Big Ahmad, though? I did. Running well down the he field. sure is. Got to find him somebody to block, Caleb. You used to find people. <laughs> Two Only receivers to either side. You keep blocking them until the whistle. Landon's going to drop back, throw a pass. Big catch by Jacoby Gamble down at the 28. That's what happens when you got a 6'5 guy that can go up and snatch it out of the air. That's a good throw and catch by Landon Cotney to Jacoby Gamble, and they have a first down inside the 30 down at the 28-yard line. And that's a safe throw because they're 8, 10 yards off, not up in press coverage, run a little sideline route with a 6'5", 220-pound H-back, throw it up high and allow them to go up and bring it in. A well-thrown football by the senior quarterback, Landon Cotney. Cotney shotgun formation takes the snap, looks to his left, under pressure, steps up, throws it to DeZace, and he dropped it at the 5-yard line. And a beautifully thrown football by Landon Cotney. And Zay, you never see that happen. It was right on the money uh, as he threw it to the corner down here and it just went through his hands. Yeah, Zay turned around and um, Landon realizing that he, if he throws it to the outside shoulder that he's got good position on the safety back there. That was a beautifully there. thrown football. Well thrown football, Zay can't bring it in. Would have been a walk-in touchdown. Still great field position. 9.28 to go here in the second. Wildcats and Tigers are knotted up at seven. Gamble in motion left to right. Landon gets everything set. Shotgun formation going to hand it to Keaton Young. Sidesteps one guy, but a linebacker comes up and drops it. Number 30 there for Chilton County. Comes up, makes a good play. Jaron Swindle from the middle linebacker. Look, good looking linebacker there for Chilton County. Comes up, makes a good play. Third down and nine, only a yard gain. They'll look over to the sideline to try to get a call. And the good thing that you have here, you've only seen us go to Nick McGee once. But normally right. when you've got a, this type down in distance, Nick McGee's been able to find a way to get open on some yep. little comeback patterns out wide. Trips to the bottom, ball in the far hash, moving right to left. Here comes a blitz. They had to have been all sides there. Throws it, passes, caught by Gamble at the 25. Heads up field to the 20. Down to the 19, going to be about a half yard shy. Either that was the best timed blitz in the history of football or he was all sides. No flag. But Landon stood there in the face of a guy bearing down on him and delivered a good ball to Jacoby Gamble. And Landon's on tonight, Randy. He's, he's really in rhythm and delivering his fourth and inches. We're going to go for it here. Wishbone formation, Joe Young at fullback. All sides, five yards. We won't have to snap it first down. Compliments of UAB Cardiology Association. I want to make one mention. Coach Smith mentioned in the locker room with me. They've changed the way they're signaling the plays in. They have scrapped the old system that they started with. And Coach Smith said, I didn't like how long it was taking. He said, we're going back to the way we used to do it. And he's got one guy, uh, he's got Coach Glenn right there signaling the plays in as he calls them. And uh, and, and it's, it's a lot quicker. We're not waiting till the play clock's down inside of five. Uh, we're getting lined up. Look like we're in a lot better rhythm so far in this first half. Shotgun formation, two to the top, one down near the bottom, ball in this near hash. Going to hand off up the middle. Keaton broke or tried to break that first tackle, almost did, as he falls forward for about two or three yards. And one just, positive is that we are getting a lot more push up front here as the game is starting to go on than yeah. we were early in the game. Really the best our offensive line has blocked in a few weeks. I agree, Randy. A lot of substitutions coming in and out also on that offensive front. We see uh, a couple of guards that are changing in and out. And good to see as we'll stay in this wishbone attack, Brett. Just stay physical. Handoff Keaton is going to follow his blockers over there. Cuts inside. Going to mm. be a penalty as he gets down to the four. It's going to come back on a hold. Looks like a really good play there for the Wildcats. But there's a penalty flag holding against the Wildcats. Going to come back. Keaton had a good run down to the three. Had it sealed in well really on the right did. side. But somewhere in the interior, which was probably away from the play, going to have a hold. It'll be a spot of the foul penalty. And right at the line of scrimmage, I'm guessing, Brett. So they're going to bring yeah. this one back to about the 22 or 23. And from yep. there, it will be second down. And we'll call it 17. 
You know, the thing about the two losses on the schedule, <laughs> if you had any offensive production in those games, you probably win them. I mean, it was 12 to nothing going into the fourth quarter against Stanhope, and it was 13 to three against Demopolis. Both on the road, both, if we'd have had any kind of effort like this, it would have been, we'd have had a chance to, to win those games. That's the thing you got to think about. It's got to get back to a physical mentality for our Wildcats. Second down and 19, Landon's going to look to the outside, and Jacoby Gamble couldn't bring it in as Jacoby kind of stumbled getting off the line of scrimmage, and Landon put a little bit too much, too much mustard on it over to the right, so it's incomplete. Third down and 19 coming up at the Chilton County Tiger 24-yard line. Four down territory because we're a little bit out of field goal range right here. Unless you pick up about 10, 12 yards. Yeah, you got to pick up 10 or 12. and um, So, yeah, maybe not all the way four down territory, but I do like our chances that if you only get four or five, you're going to continue to go for sure, it. Sure, sure. Timeout on the field for Chilton County, 7-7, seven to 7-09 seven, to go here in the second. Yeah, and m Plumbing timeout on the field. You're listening to the Wildcat Football Network. Brown Fabrication wants to wish the players, coaches, band, dance team, and cheerleaders of the Benjamin Russell Wildcats good luck this season. We also want to say congratulations to Katherine Crutchfield of the BRHS Wildcat Cheerleaders. Our prayers are for an injury-free and successful season. Go Wildcats! From Brown Fabrication on Highway 280 in Alex City. Morrison Haynes Law Firm in Alexander City are proud members of our community. Our team of dedicated employees live, work, and support our local communities, and we are all actively engaged in our hometowns. Just like all area players, parents, and coaches, we are committed to the betterment of our local area and want to wish all of our area teams the best of luck this fall. The Morris Haynes Law Firm, a proud supporter of all area athletics. Advanced Heating and Air makes your comfort their priority for any season. Advanced Heating and Air is the region's train dealer and an Alabama Power Superior Solutions dealer that can save you money and energy with a new electric heat pump. Advanced Heating and Air maintains the region's best service team, so rely on us to make your comfort our number one concern. Call 234-5052 and we're there for you. Scooter's Grill, located in Hatton, Alabama, has karaoke every Thursday. Kids and family friendly starts at 5 o'clock. Close on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Open Thursday, Friday, and Saturday from 1030 until 9. And cut steaks. Ugh, mm, best steaks money can buy. Call to check on buffet specials, football specials, great for game day. And I'm talking about if you've never sat down at Scooter's Grill in Hatton, Alabama, put that on your things to do today. The probate judge's office deals with important family issues like wills and estates and mental health issues. Experience matters. Melissa Reynolds has legal experience, is a longtime business owner, nonprofit executive director, and member of many civic and professional organizations. Melissa Reynolds is the right choice to be Tallapoosa County's next probate judge. This is Melissa Reynolds, and I am running for the office of probate judge for Tallapoosa County, and I would appreciate your vote on November 6th. This message is paid for and approved by the office to elect Melissa Reynolds probate judge of Tallapoosa County. Alex City Internal Medicine and Nephrology and Weight Loss Center provides optimum care for the whole person. Dr. Demo Popov specializes in the prevention and diagnosis of high blood pressure, kidney disease, diabetes, and acute and chronic conditions. Our weight loss clinic offers lipo shots and a guide to healthy weight loss. Alex City Internal Medicine and Nephrology and Weight Loss Center, where lifestyle changes are made. Welcome to Alex City Food Shop, your local shell station located at Highway 280 and Airport Drive. Fill up with Shell V-Power Nitro plus premium gasoline and get the best total engine protection you can get, period. Stop by any time, day or night, open 24-7, and check out all the great specials and all your favorite convenience store items. Keep that car clean with a touch-free car wash, where your six wash is always free. Also, be sure to use your FRN reward card and save big at the pump. Michelin Company, located on Highway 22 West here in Alexander City, across from Holly's Home Furnishing. Diane and Terry Mitchell have been in this business for 40 plus years. And when it comes to men's sport coats, suits, pants, shirts, ties, they can fix you up where you're going to look better 
than ever. Fabric, they carry their own fabric for making clothes just for you. Alterations just for you at Mitchell Company Highway 22 West in Alexander City. And Landon will be in the shotgun, four wide, two to either side. Going to drop back, looking over here across the middle, found some room, going to tuck it and run. 25, cuts it outside, 20, 15, going to run out of bounds at the 14. You're definitely in field goal range now as it'll be fourth down and about nine coming up as he picked up 10 yards. So fourth down and nine, will they send Wilson on for the field goal? The, the field is beautiful out here and well put together. It is a loblolly along the sidelines with all the rain, but they are going to run Wilson out there. He's four, He's made four field goals in a row over the last three games, and he'll put the tee down at the 22. So this will be a 32-yard effort from this near hash. You know, Wilson was a big part of us staying in that Selma game, yeah. able to put up nine points early until we got going on offense. There's the snap, the place. The kick is up, and the kick is good. Make it five for five here in the last five attempts with a 32-yarder, and that time it was, Randy, you called it. Every kick from him gets better and better. He's just an athlete. Um, this kid, when his confidence level is up, and, I, and I've watched him catch a long time, and I'm going to repeat myself over and over again, uh, but watching athletes play, their confidence shows on the field. It does. And it shows all the time. And any time I go and watch, um, he looks like he's just under control. He's composed. He's a good leader out there on the baseball field. And he struggled a little bit here early on because he hadn't had a lot of chances to kick the football. But, Brett, as the season's going on, when he when you send him out right now, I'm like, Man. well, he's going to make this. It's almost that automatic. Going in. Inside of 40, you almost feel like it's automatic. That drive right there, 10 plays, 42 yards, took up three minutes and 42 seconds. And good drive there. Yeah, really good drive. We're really starting to move the ball on offense. And one of the keys I thought going into the night was getting uh, Landon in a rhythm. And you can tell he's really starting to get in a rhythm throwing the ball, which can make our offense dangerous. Absolutely. 6.55 to go here in the first half. Wildcats lead it on homecoming night 10 to 7 over Chilton County. And, you know, you're coming down the heart of the meat of the schedule the rest of the year. And you got to get some – you got to get something figured out tonight. Tonight's the night you got to get some things going in your direction. Got to find out some things about yourself. And Wilson puts a high end over end kick, filled it at the 17 yard line. Going to be brought out, hold, middle of the field, 30 35, up to the 36 37, maybe the 38 yard line, where they'll put him down. 6.48 to go here in the first half. Wildcats lead at 10 to 7. That's your Bice Motor score. We want to remind everybody coming up at halftime is the Advanced Heating and Air Halftime Show, the region's authorized train dealer. For all your heating and air needs, give Advanced Heating and Air a call. You'll be glad you did. And hang in there with us because Caleb Brooks, Justin Mosley will bring you all the halftime festivities, which will include the number 80 being retired, Terrell Owens. Yep. Uh, Jersey being retired tonight at halftime, and uh, we had a little recognition before the game as well. Hand off over here. Wildcats do a good job. As he gets back to the line of scrimmage, maybe about a half a yard off the right side. But Zay Hunter going to go into the ball game for the first time tonight. And haven't seen him. He's been a staple on that defense, Randy, at outside backer. And he'll line up on the right side over there and walk up to the line of scrimmage. Looks like he's going to bring a rush. Lassiter in the shotgun by himself takes a snap, and he'll run it to the right side. And... Big Pokey Norris grabs him from behind and rips him down. Once he gets his big paws on you, you're not going to break that tackle. And he puts him down back here at the 35-yard line. So a loss of a couple there brings up third down in about 11 or and he's 12. He's done a better job getting back in the backfield. And uh, I can say this because his dad told me this last week. And uh, his dad was a great football player too. He said, Pokey's out of shape. He hadn't played for a couple of weeks. Yeah. He looks good for a moment, and then he looks like he's out of shape. So two weeks from being back, uh, yeah. hopefully we'll see the Pokey that we had before he had his injury. Yeah, sh suffered that shoulder injury. Glad to have him back. He's a difference maker in their nose tackle. Drops back, Lasher going to roll the pocket to the left, throw a sidearm pass at his man, but it's incomplete. And, again, you look at this quarterback, he's very good at running the football but struggles at times throwing on the run against his throwing motion there looking for Mason, Dennis. And it's incomplete, brings up fourth down and 11. The Wildcats will get the ball back as Kobe Crabb stands around his 31, 32-yard line to receive this punt. The last punt from Chilton County was a shank, went 14 yards. And I thought that was generous. 
There's a the snap. Wildcats bring a little pressure, and he angles it over here to the sideline, hits it to 35. Kobe going to run away from Kobe, get away mm. from it. I think it touched him on the leg. I don't know if it did or not. Man, ran over there. Kobe is a guy that wants to return everything, and he was going to run over there and scoop it up, but it took a weird kick away from him, and he tried to run it down, and it almost hit him in the leg. And Chilton County had four guys down there ready to catch that ball or fall on the ball, rather. Lucky to get that one back, Randy. We'll scrimmage from the 19. A quick note, three timeouts left with 519 to go in the first half. We've had two really good drives back-to-back. -back. We'd like to see us take advantage of this, move the football down here on this drive, Brett, and uh, hopefully cash something in before halftime. Landing in the shotgun formation, two to the top, one down here to the bottom, ball in this near hash. Going to pull it this time, and they read it, but he still found a little bit of a – Hole. That time, Chilton County defended that really well. Landon pulled it. Maybe should have kept it with Keaton right there as there was a little bit of a seam up the middle, but nevertheless, still picked up a couple of yards there, second down and eight. Still love the idea of Landon with the football in his hands 12 to 15 times a game running. No question. Got great speed. He can has game-breaking, breakaway he speed does. when he gets back into the secondary. And as the season moves on, we're going to need him to show that run, that run capability to hold some of these good defenses we've got down the stretch. Quick screen pass out there to Zay Stowe's trying to make the first guy miss. Does, found a little bit of a seam up to the 25-26 yard line. And Coach Smith told me in the locker room they should have gone back to that play more against Demopolis. He said, look, I know that. He said, I know what you're going to say to me. That, that play was there. He said, we probably should have gone to it more. Expect them to try to use that. A lot more moving forward, Randy. Is that time, that's more like a sweep there. Picked up six yards, second, third down and two. A lot of things you can do here, Brett. But personally, I like the idea of using Nick McGee out there on the right side. Short side of the field. Need two yards. Four minutes to go here in the first quarter. Wildcats lead it 10 to 7. Gamble in motion right to left now. Snap it with two seconds on the play clock. And Keaton Young's going to run up. He's going to be right at the sticks. Added that extra blocker there with Gamble in motion. I'm not quite sure he got the first down. We'll see. He's right at it, Brett. Yeah. Really hard to tell from this angle. Yeah, it's going to be real close. I know he needed two. <laughs> Bill Hendricks, our PA announcer, went ahead and gave him three yards. I love him. He being a little, little positive reinforcement down there to the officials. But – they will bring the chains out to measure. 3.40 to go here before halftime. Advanced heating and air halftime show coming your way here on homecoming night. Clean football game, well officiated so far. Absolutely. Good head of, crew down there. Head official Mike Wilson doing a great job. He tried to officiate our game Monday night, but once again our ninth grade game got rained out. It's been the weirdest weather this fall. I mean, brutal heat through the first half of the season. And a lot of humidity, still humid tonight. Does get the first down by just a little bit. So 340, the Wildcats move the chains. Compliments of UAB Cardiology Associates. They have a three-point lead, 10 to seven. That's your Bice motor score. So and I'm gonna tell you what, if you don't think Coach Morrison wants this game, he was standing right behind the chains trying to see how far that ball was. Yeah, he's animated being over. over there. He has really been animated over there and in this game. He's, that's his, his nature. You know it better than any of us up here, Caleb. He got in your face plenty of times, no doubt about it. Yeah, once or twice. <laughs> <laughs> he deserved most yeah, of them. Two down here to the bottom, one to the top. Shotgun formation, you set it down to 29. Landon takes the snap. Going to hand off, and that's good run. Carl over there on mm. the right side, 35, 36, 37. Good run there by Carl. His first carry of the night. He had more to gain, and Marte will work with him on that. If he keeps his balance, I think he's got uh, eight or ten more yards. But He's uh, a hard takes, runner. Takes his time, allows his blocks to set up, and then he takes off. And uh, Carl Russell Jr. is about 180, 185 pounds out there. Good-looking running back. Picks up eight yards there on first down. Second and two will roll under three minutes to go here in the first half with the Wildcats uh, leading 10-7. to seven. Give it to Carl again as he run. cuts back across. Gets up to the 40-yard line, picks up a first down. As you just said, Randy, the original direction was stopped, but he made a pivot and cut back inside and picked up the three he needed and moved the chain. And picked up all three of those after contact because they had an arm underneath, 
to come across. Um, just couldn't get him down. He falls yeah. ahead for those three yards. And a little bit bigger back back here than Keaton. Yeah. Um, probably another 30 pounds for Carl Got Russell. Handed to call again up the middle and uh, another two and a half, three yards. And Tal Morrison is very animated over there, as Caleb mentioned, as I've been watching him since Caleb pointed that out. He is really getting after his defense, trying to encourage. He's getting on his getting on his coaching staff now over the there. Side oh, it's it's getting the side on the judge. official. Yeah. I got you. I looked like he was getting on one of the, the coaches over there, but second down and eight. Got to be a holding penalty that he's yeah. seeing and not getting the call on. Only two yards there on that run. Landon going to drop back to pass. Kicks it out over here. Gets Carl out of the backfield. Good run. 45, 46, 47 yard line. And Carl really being involved here in the last three or four plays. He goes out of bounds. The clock's still moving. Minute and 55 seconds and going. He still ran got all, out of bounds. We still got all three timeouts left, Brett. Chilton County yeah. sitting on two, but we're at least um, not in a hurry right now. Third down and four. Close to the midfield stripe at the 47 yard line, leading 10 to seven. I don't think you're getting a huge rush for no. the next 10 or 15 seconds. Maybe the next. We pick up this first down, you, you'll want to. Trips to the top, going to throw it over the middle. He's got big Jacoby Gamble, man. That was a good catch by Jacoby as that one was thrown a little bit behind him, and he made an athletic move to reach behind him and snag it. He's got great hands, Randy. Big paws, able to grab it out of the air, picked up a first down, compliments to UAB Cardiology Associates, down to the 41-yard line. Old school tight end dump from the shotgun formation. Show the give to Carl Russell in the backfield, stand straight up and dump it over to a six foot five, 220 pound H back in Jacoby Gamble. Shotgun formation gonna hand off Carl Russell across the 40 down to the 39 yard line. So Chilton County right there stopped that one up the middle. Minute and five seconds to go here in the first half, 10 to seven. Wildcats leading Chilton County here, and there will be an A&M plumbing timeout on the field. We'll take a timeout as well. 10 to 7, Wildcats lead it. You're listening to the Wildcat Football Network. Baden Toyota of Sylacauga is your hometown Toyota dealer. That means you will always receive hometown service, hometown savings, all from hometown people. That's just the Vaden way. It doesn't matter if your hometown is Alexander City, the Lake Martin area, or Sylacauga. You are always treated like family. Come experience what a hometown dealership is all about. Vaden Toyota of Sylacauga. Online at toyotaofsilicaga.com. Vaden Toyota of Sylacauga. Located on Highway 280 in Sylacauga. Find everything you need for the perfect outdoor living space at Russell Do It Center, like the Fire Rock Outdoor Conventional Fireplace. Smartly designed masonry systems that are easy to install and are less than half the cost of a scratch-built brick and mortar fireplace. Weber Grills, the best outdoor gas, electric, and charcoal grills, which always come pre-assembled. Yeti Coolers, premium coolers and accessories that are the ultimate in design, performance, and durability. Russell Do It Center, experience and knowledge from the pros. Grace's Flowers in Alexander City on Hillaby Street has been making people happy for decades. Susie Kelly and her friendly staff continue that same great tradition. Grace's Flowers is a full-service florist for all occasions, funerals, weddings, and other special events. In addition to flowers, Grace's has a great gift selection as well. To send a smile or encouragement, call 234-4238 and Grace's Flowers will deliver. Grace's Flowers on Hillaby Street in Alexander City. Skag, the toughest name in lawnmowers. Unmatched quality and performance for over three decades. The clear choice, the best mower money can buy for work or at home. Top lawn care professionals and discerning homeowners know that Skag means productivity and reliability. Every Skag mower is proudly built right here in the USA. Don't settle for anything less than simply the best. Skag. Satterfield Outdoor Living on Highway 280 in Alex City. At Beyond Home Care, we provide in-home care services to individuals needing assistance with activities in their daily lives. We work with each client to provide personalized home care and sitter services. Whether it's assistance with bathing and personal care or an escort to a doctor's appointment, each client receives the individual care they need with the dignity and respect they deserve. Give us a call today at 256-414-6090 or visit us online at beyondhomecareal.com. 
We are a debt relief agency. We help people file Chapter 7 and Chapter 13 under the bankruptcy code. This is Marcia Mason, your local Lake Martin bankruptcy and Social Security disability attorney. Mason Law Firm is located at 217 Madison Street in Alexander City. Call 256-329-1313 to schedule your appointment today. All initial consultations are free and strictly confidential. No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be provided is greater than that of other attorneys. Harold Orthodontics, downtown Alexander City on Alabama Street, is doing something really crazy. Dr. Bill Harold says, come on by here if you're an Alabama fan or if you're an Auburn fan and we can fit you in some braces. Wow, think about it. Instead of hollering Row Tide and War Eagle, all you got to do is smile. Smile, Row Tide. Smile, War Eagle. For all your brace needs, call Dr. Harold at 256-234-6353. Hello, this is Scotty Gordon, and I would like to introduce you to our new agency, Cornerstone Insurance and Financial Group. At Cornerstone, we will shop dozens of top-rated companies to find you the best coverage at the best price. So whether it's your home, auto, business, or life insurance, we have a plan that's designed for you. Same location, same great service. Give us a call today, 256-409-2299. 105 to go here before halftime. Wildcats lead it 10 to 7. Wildcats will trot the offense back out there. Two timeouts for both teams now. Wildcats lead it 10 to 7 over the Tigers here on homecoming night. Have it at the Chilton County 39, looking to punch or push some, put some more points on the board rather. Wilson Hayes added a field goal on the last drive from 32 yards. Landon drops back to pass, looking down the field, going to step and throw it. He's got Zaystos over the middle. He catches it at the five, and he's in. Touchdown, Wildcats. The Wildcat offensive line did a good job of giving Landon Cotney plenty of time to throw the football, and Zaystos ran away from his man in a perfectly thrown ball by Landon Cotney to Zaystos from 39 yards out, and the Wildcats tack on six more. Great play call by the offensive unit. Stack receivers to the short side of the field. Six foot five, Gambles right there. They're looking at him, Brett, because we probably targeted him more than anybody else. We'd have to get the stats from yeah. Caleb. Uh, Zay Stowe's just able to outrun the secondary the last 10 yards of oh. that route, and a good job by Landing recognizing that Zay's in man-to-man coverage back there in the secondary and giving him a chance. Snap, the kick is on the way, and hit the upright and bounced off. Man, that one, he could tell as Wilson looks down, as he just didn't strike that one well, and hit the upright and bounced off at 16-7. to But I'm going to say something about this last few drives. Ran very balanced offense, very balanced moving the football, running and throwing. And Landon looks comfortable tonight. We haven't seen him look comfortable in the last couple of weeks. And uh, when Landon's comfortable, Randy, he's as good as anybody in the state. Well, they're just not giving as much pressure on our receivers. So you're seeing some open receivers right. down the field. So um, we've got to find a way to find them openings, with uh, especially Jacoby Gamble, even when they got press man coverage. I agree. I not agree. too many people are going to match up well no with doubt. him. But a really good drive right there, Caleb. Yeah, 10 plays, 81 yards, 4 minutes and 22 seconds, and really probably the best offensive drive that we've seen from the Wildcats since the Clay Central game. I, I totally agree with that statement, and and the, just so much more continuity. Randy, this is what the doctors ordered. You know, maybe this was perfect timing for us to, to for Landon to gain some confidence back. And well, you know, we man a good kick there, angled down to the 15 yard line by Wilson Hayes, going to bring it back to the 30, 35 yard line. So good coverage there by the Wildcats special teams. 48 seconds to go, and. Um, Always like to look at the young guys down on special teams. And uh, we've seen this guy at linebacker tonight because Zay Hunter hasn't played as much. But Anthony Jones, number 35, yeah, he, he's almost in on every stop on special teams. Some guys just know how to find the football. Well, they're younger, and they're not really finding their way out on the field consistently. But when they are out there, yeah, um, they look like a playmaker. You know, before last year, before Denzel Green goes out with that injury, he looked like that he on did. special teams to me. Just got good speed and physical. Um, Anthony Jones impressive to me. They're going to go wishbone here with only 48 seconds to go. Chilton County not built to be a quick strike team. They'll go under center, hand off right side. That's a big tailback up to the 38-yard line. So picked up a couple of yards there off the right side. And 
big number 16 there. I'm going to give him Devontae Robinson. 5'10", 220 pounds. Big kid. Um, looks like an old school high formation fullback, Brett, does he? He does. He'll line up in that wishbone there. Picked up three yards there, second down. And that's a – man, that was a discombobulated play, but no no flag. And Kashar Ross and Brett Pitts are going to run down Lassiter as he rounded the corner over the left side, and that will be the final play of the first half unless the Wildcats choose to call a timeout. Let's see if they'll make them run another play, and they won't. That will be the end of the first half. Wildcats take a 16-7 lead to the locker room after falling down 7-0 here on homecoming night. Advanced Heating and Air halftime show coming your way as the Wildcats trot to the locker room with a 16-7 lead over Chilton County. We come back. It'll be the Advanced Heating and Air halftime show, and we'll have the halftime and homecoming festivities brought to you by Advanced Heating and Air. Stay tuned. More of the Wildcat Football Network right after this. It has been a long road to the championship. Yeah, we had to pick up a new Napa battery and brake pads for this beaut. <laughs> since then, we've been firing on all cylinders. Were there ever any doubts? Yeah, we burned through a few early timeouts on account of Jim's super mega chug. And, uh, hey, hey, set, geez, Jim. But uh, thanks to Napa, this old beast came through in a clutch. What an amazing ride. Keep your champion running longer, stronger with Napa know-how. See Thomas Auto Parts on Green Street in Ellick City, East South Street in Davil or Highway 280 in Sylacauga. Where Zaxby's is from, flavor comes first. And flavor always makes room for seconds. It's come as you are food with clean your plate flavor. That's the flavor we were raised on. And that's the food we love to eat. Like the Zaxby's Cobb salad. Mouth-watering grilled chicken, Roma tomatoes, bacon, cucumbers, egg, fried onions, and cheddar and jack cheeses serve atop mixed greens for a salad that puts flavor first. You know who thinks all insurance is the same? People who've never had a claim, especially a catastrophic one. That's when you find out exactly what you've been paying for all this time. That's when you learn what type of person your insurance agent is. First Insurance provides you peace of mind what you need, when you need it. First Insurance, first in coverage, first in value, first in our community. For all your insurance needs, visit firstinsurancellc.com or call 256-329-0888. If you've been putting off that new heating and air unit in your home because of the upfront expenses, Williams Plumbing of Alexander City now has primary financing from Synchrony and can now install brand new heating and cooling systems with zero down, longer terms, and a competitive rate. Call Williams Plumbing at 256-329-8488 and get a free quote in terms and upgrade up to $35,000 in work with approved credit. Williams Plumbing stands behind their work with on-time affordable service for all your heating and air needs as well as plumbing for zero down financing and great service. Williams Plum You've probably noticed the new name and the new colors, but what isn't new is our dedication to helping you achieve your financial goals. As a mid-sized regional bank, we're proud to offer you all the advantages of a large financial institution with the personalized service of a small one. This is banking with flexibility. Our name and our colors may have changed, but our commitment to empowering our customers, employees, and the communities we serve hasn't changed a bit. So visit one of our Alexander City locations today. Valley National Bank. New name, new colors, same bankers. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Randy Lee Jr., CEO Lee Marketing Group. I think that we, with the school systems and with our education growing up, we've got as capable of people as anywhere you'll find. You know, with many of our businesses, we're able, luckily, to, to travel all around. I think that we um, really do create people that are capable as anybody out there. Tapley's Appliance, home owned and operated by Tom and Louise Tapley, is located on Cherokee Road in Alexander City. Stop in and check out the Holland Gas Grill. It bakes, it grills, it steams, it smokes. It's great for cooking out no matter what the occasion, from tailgating to backyard grilling. The only grill guaranteed not to flame up. Also available, the DCS Gas Grill, and they have charcoal grills in stock as well. That's Tapley's Appliance, where they service what they sell. 
Today is your day at Glen Smith Chevrolet. Own your new sporty Chevrolet Cruze with superb fuel efficiency and 13 to choose from. Now at Glen Smith, $14,900. You'll love America's best-selling full-size SUV, the 2019 Chevrolet Tahoe at Glen Smith, just $49.95. Check out our huge inventory of over 500 vehicles at Glen Smith in Opelika. Get your best price every day at Glen Smith on the lot or online at glensmith.com. Get ready to smile. Welcome to the Advanced Heating and Air Halftime Report. I'm Caleb Brooks along with Justin Mosley here on homecoming night at the Charles E. Bailey Sportsplex where Benjamin Russell will also retire Terrell Owens number 80 that he wore at Benjamin Russell, not number 81 that he did wear in the NFL. But, uh, you know, Justin, you think about it, it is a huge night here. You got homecoming and you've got Terrell Owens, the NFL Hall of Famer here tonight in attendance. Yeah, great night, a really good crowd, uh, you know, all things considered with the rain, you know, to start the game. Uh, you know, what a great night for Benjamin Russell. Uh, an honor for T.O., but an honor for, for Benjamin Russell in this community, um, you know, to have such a, a prestigious NFL player come back home, uh, you know, retire in the jersey, uh, you know, with all the success that he had um, and, and just the, the emotion and the, uh, the feel of homecoming uh, is, is a great night. Yeah, and, you know, the Wildcats kind of help it out with a great night, having probably their best half of football that they've played since the second half of the Central play game as the Wildcats really, really played well after an initial first two kind of bad drives on defense, really stepped it up on the defensive side and got going on offense. Yeah, completely different halftime uh, breakdown this week as opposed to the past few weeks. Uh, you, you know, in, in the first drive for Benjamin Russell, they were pinned inside the 10. Couldn't really do a whole lot with it. You can't really, you know, your, your, your playbook's limited in that situation. Uh, but the big keys for Benjamin Russell, the, the things that, that we've talked about the past few weeks, Benjamin Russell is corrected in a big way tonight. Caleb, no turnovers. You, you know, you saw a couple of times where Landon was pressured. He escaped the pocket and he ran. He didn't take a chance and throw the ball up, you know, you know right here uh, on the field goal drive to set up the field goal. Um, before that last touchdown drive, he, he thought about maybe popping a pass over the middle, uh, but he runs out, escapes the pocket, gets 10 yards, and sets up the field goal. Uh, great running, great run blocking by the Benjamin Russell offensive line here in the first half. It's helped set up some of that pass. They're keeping a clean pocket for, K, uh, for, for Landon, and he's, he's got time to throw the football. Uh, it looks like a, a much better... Uh, offense, uh, you know, offensive scheme, offensive play calling this week, and a, a, a ton better job execution by the offense. Yeah, I think you said it, you know, no turnovers there in the first half, not trying to jinx them for the second half, but that's really been the key for the Wildcats is they haven't been taking care of the ball, but in the first half tonight, like you said, taking care of the football, and when, when you're turning the ball over at the rate that the Wildcats were, which was 21 turnovers in five games, which is averaging over four turnovers a game. It's a, it's a huge thing for the Wildcats to not turn it over, and that kind of helped keep the offensive momentum going in the first half, and you see the products. They're able to score three separate times and have a 16-7 lead here at halftime. Yeah, really good job by the offense. Um, it helps also rest that defense to have those long, sustained drives and you saw that, you know, really pay off, uh, you know, two, three and outs late. Um, you know, uh, Chilton County had a little bit of success, you know, early on with the, with the quarterback. Um, you know, the, the benefit that they have of, you know, having that running quarterback, getting the extra blocker, um, you know, so the, the Benjamin Russell offense definitely helped out, helped rest that defense, and you saw – how much it paid off for the for the defense there uh, in the first half of Benjamin Russell. As we look out on the field right now, the Chilton County Band is done performing, and Terrell Owens now standing at midfield with Caleb Stowes, who is number 80 for Benjamin Russell. And tonight will be the last night that number 80 will be worn by Benjamin Russell football players. You see him standing with T.O. And, you know, really an incredible honor for Terrell Owens and all that he achieved. And for those that don't know, Terrell Owens was not a high five-star guy coming out of – 
uh, high school. You know, they didn't really do recruiting rankings back then, but even if they did, he wouldn't have been a big five-star recruit. He went to University of Tennessee, Chattanooga, and really worked his way to where he got, was able to get into the NFL and have a very, very successful career, as you see with that Hall of Fame jacket that he's wearing right there at midfield. Yeah, great scene here at midfield at, at halftime. The athletic director, Coach Pam Robinson, uh, you know, out with, with T.O. and a, a beautifully framed uh, Benjamin Russell jersey. Um, you know, what a, what a great night. And, uh, you know, again, just, just big for it to be at, at homecoming and a great night for the community. We're going to take a break here at, on the Advanced Heating and Air Halftime Report. And when we come back, we will have the homecoming queen announced, and we will run over some more of the first half breakdown here on the Advanced Heating and Air Halftime Report. Jackson Drugs, located on Cherokee Road, is geared up for warm weather with cool gift items, beach bags, and beach attire, the latest clothing fashion, gift brick and brack, wedding gifts and graduation gifts, bracelets, necklaces, gourmet food items, the latest cookbooks, baby section by Melissa and Doug, and Auburn and Alabama paraphernalia, Roll Tide and War Eagle from Jackson Drugs on Cherokee Road. Good night, boss. See ya. See you tomorrow. Bye. When you're a business owner, your mind is always on the job. Anything before I go? All set. So is ours. At Frankenmuth Insurance, our independent agents work with you to customize coverage, improve safety, and help prevent losses. Let us take some of the work off your plate. Start a frank conversation with your local agent. Walls Tire just a mile past the bridge on Highway 280 is the Lake Martin area's complete automotive solution. At Walls, you'll find a dedicated staff offering top quality service from routine maintenance to a full engine overhaul and everything in between. Brian Walls and the folks at Walls Tire are local folks that you know, and they provide the best service always at a fair price. Find out what the rest of the Lake Martin area already knows. Walls Tire is the Lake Martin area's complete automotive solution. Just a mile past the bridge on Highway 280. We have a promise to keep with this community, our pledge of respect for your family and your needs in every funeral arrangement. A funeral is a time that calls for consideration. For that reason, we won't consider anyone else. For a full range of funeral services with sensitivity, compassion, and respect. Call Radney Funeral Home at 256-234-2511 or Langley Funeral Home at 256-896-2571, your hometown funeral home. Hey, it's Steve from the Car Stereo Shop in Auburn, and after 10 years of serving the good people of East Alabama and West Georgia, we're still doing business the same way, offering the best products at the best prices with the area's best warranties and installing them with the area's best technicians. With great customer service, a knowledgeable sales staff, and our commitment to customer satisfaction, along with the best selection of the latest technology in the industry, there's no reason to shop anywhere else. Shop with confidence. Shop at the Car Stereo Shop in Auburn. Alex City Internal Medicine and Nephrology and Weight Loss Center provides optimum care for the whole person. Dr. Demo Popov specializes in the prevention and diagnosis of high blood pressure, kidney disease, diabetes, and acute and chronic conditions. Our weight loss clinic offers lipo shots and a guide to healthy weight loss. Alex City Internal Medicine and Nephrology and Weight Loss Center, where lifestyle changes are made. Scooter's Grill, located in Hatton, Alabama, has karaoke every Thursday. Kids and family friendly starts at 5 o'clock. Close on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Open Thursday, Friday, and Saturday from 10.30 until 9. And cut steaks. Ugh! Mm. Best steaks money can buy. Call to check on buffet specials, football specials. Great for game day. I'm talking about if you've never sat down at Scooter's Grill in Hatton, Alabama, put that on your things to do today. What's behind the CA? A world full of opportunities. Where are you now? Where are you going? Where do you want to be? These are all important in determining your path in life. More importantly, why be ordinary when you can be extraordinary? At Central Alabama Community College, you can be anything you wish to be. Don't put your future on hold and don't settle for less than excellence. We are Central Alabama Community College. Central to you. Central to your success. All right, going up here. 
Welcome back to the Advanced Heating and Air Halftime Report. I'm Caleb Brooks along with Justin Mosley as it is homecoming here at the Charles E. Bailey Sportsplex for the Benjamin Russell High School Wildcats as they're announcing the homecoming queen nominees right now on the field. And, you know, Justin, when you look back at the first half of this game, early in the game, Chilton County really came out and brought the physicality to Benjamin Russell. But you really have to credit the Wildcat defense. After that uh, initial touchdown drive, they really – kind of came into their own and really settled in and played a very, very good first half after the first two drives. Yeah, you know, Chilton County is really well coached. You know, we, we've talked a lot about Tal and, and what he, uh, you know, what he's able to do. Uh, he's a great play caller, great offensive mind, and, uh, and you saw a lot of shifting uh, early on for Chilton County. Benjamin Russell did a good job of adjusting. They, they got, you know, out, outnumbered a couple times. And uh, it really helps you when you have a running quarterback because you have an extra blocker uh, in a running back or you have running back motion, you know, with the zone read, pulling a linebacker out of the box, chasing the zone read, you know, a defensive end, you know, honoring the zone read and staying at home. And it, it set up some, some lanes early for the quarterback for Chilton County. Benjamin Russell did a great job adjusting. Great first half by the linebackers and defensive ends for Benjamin Russell. You know, really settled in after those first couple of drives, and they were all over the field. Well, you know, Justin, I think one of the things that you see with Chilton County is there's not much of a passing game. You don't really have that threat, uh, not really their strong point, and we were able to walk up safeties and really start to just play that run game. They haven't really attempted to go downfield much. They've tried a few screen passes, but uh, overall just haven't really had much success through the air and outside of the first couple drives haven't had that much success on the ground once we made some adjustments on the defensive side. Yeah, really just the only you know decent pass play that I can think of was, again, the, the athleticism of their quarterback sneaking out, of you know, leaking out of the pocket when we had him wrapped up. Uh, you know, he hits a little 15-yard pass, picks up a first down, but Benjamin Russell was able to, uh, you know, get him off the field. Yeah, you know, he kind of has some Johnny Manziel-like elusiveness to him, was able to get out of the pocket, but uh, ended up kind of paying for it as Brett Pitts really put a big hit on him. And uh, what I noticed was from that point on, he didn't really want to run the football as much after that. Uh, and maybe Coach Morrison didn't want his quarterback taking as many hits as he was because he was taking some good hits early in the game. But back to an offensive standpoint, I feel like we really kind of found what we're wanting to do on the offensive side of the football, which is run the ball up the middle and then get the ball to the outside through the air to our receivers who really have a mismatch on the outside. Yeah, you know, the, again, it, it comes back to execution for me. I think a lot of that stuff's been there so far. Uh, but the offensive line giving Landon a clean pocket. Um, you know, not, not many missed passes in the first half because of that clean pocket. Um, probably the only, you know, maybe one or two incompletions I can think of. Um, the, the little rub route, you know, on, on the opposite side of the field, the gamble, uh, you know, over there. Had somebody in his face and, and you know, forced him to, to let it go a little early. Um, but, but, you know, other than that, uh, just just really good execution by the Benjamin Russell offense that we haven't seen the past few weeks. Yeah, you know, and easily could have at least three more points on the board. Zay Stowe's dropping a pass that Landon pretty much threw perfect, you know, kind of threw it to the back shoulder away from the safety. Just wasn't able to come up with it. But overall, I mean, you just have to be pleased with the product that the Wildcats put out there in the first half considering they have not played that well since the second half of the Central Clay game have really struggled. They struggled with Stan Hope the whole game. Really had just about a two minute period against Selma where they were able to score really quick and put up 16 points in about two and a half minutes to win that game. And then last week just wasn't ever to get able to get anything going after getting down seven to nothing early and uh, had the field goal until late in the game when we were able to hit Zay on that long pass and stick it in there at the end. But you really just have to be pleased with what you saw in the first half and hope they can build on that momentum in the second half because we're going to need it going into the next few weeks against Opelika, Wetumpka, and Calera, who are big region games, and will pretty much determine if the Wildcats make the playoffs this year or not. Yeah, you know, the, the, first, the first half was really just won by Benjamin Russell in all phases. You know, outside of the first drive, you know, Chilton County 
I, I'm not sure how many more penalty yards. I don't remember very many penalties called against Benjamin Russell in the first half. Chilton County had a lot of penalties, you know, offsides that would keep Benjamin Russell drives going, um, you know, protecting the football. Again, that's, that's just such a big key for Benjamin Russell. You know, it's, it's keeping the defense off the field. It's giving the other offense less opportunities to, to drive the field. Uh, you know, a, a good, clean game for Benjamin Russell and great execution uh, on both sides. And they have now gotten done announcing all of the homecoming queen nominations. And here soon we'll be announcing the winner, and we will give that to you once they announce it. But... Justin, what do you want Benjamin Russell to do in the second half a little bit better than they did in the in the first half? Oh, well, they're about to announce the winner. So, Justin, what, what do you want to see Benjamin Russell do a little bit better here in the second half that they didn't do in the first half? Well, you know, definitely clean up the, the first drive that Chilton County had, the first couple of drives Chilton County had. Um, hold on, you know, to the football again. Uh, it's such a big key for, for the way, you know, Ben Russell's played the past few weeks. You know, sustain some drives, continue to, to get this offense rolling so that you can carry it over, carry over that momentum, not only to the second half, but the upcoming schedule. Yeah, you know, I think that you, you know, I know that you people listening at home hear us continue to say this, but taking care of the football really is the key for this Wildcat team because it's just hard to score points on offense when you're giving it away at least four times a game like they have been through the first five games. It's, it's, it's the key to everything right now for Benjamin Russell. It really is. Uh, but just come out the second half, play another clean second half, you know, another clean half like you did in the first, and uh, be great to go ahead and, and get a big win here on homecoming. Homecoming queen just announced Terrell Owens' jersey retirement. Uh, it's a great night here at Benjamin Russell. Yeah, you know, it feels really, really good out here. And Wildcats will receive the ball to start the second half. And, you know, really, you want to see them get off to a good start in the second half and potentially take a 23-7 to lead and really kind of put the ball in Coach Morrison's hands on if he wants to throw the football or not because, as we've said, throwing the ball is just not the strong point of their team. They're, they're a team that wants to line up and run the football, but the further you put them behind, the harder it's going to be for them to try to do that. Yeah, load the box, get Chilton County off the field, you know, honor – uh, you, you know, play the run, play the run. It, they they tried there right before half to to sneak a, a run a, a wide receiver out. They were in the wishbone. You know, tried to hit a little pop pass, trick Benjamin Russell a little bit. Benjamin Russell played it well, sacked the quarterback again. Uh, just come out and dominate the second half for Benjamin Russell. Stop the run. You know, force some turnovers and. Um, you know, I look, look for a big win here in the second half for Benjamin Russell. That's going to do it here for the Advance Heating and Air Halftime Report at the Charles E. Bailey Sportsplex. I'm Caleb Brooks along with Justin Mosley. When we come back, Brett and Randy and myself will have the second half call as the Wildcats will receive the kickoff. But this has been your Advance Heating and Air Halftime Report. Your comfort is our number one concern. Advance Heat and Air. Advanced Heating and Air makes your comfort their priority for any season. Advanced Heating and Air is the region's train dealer and an Alabama Power Superior Solutions dealer that can save you money and energy with a new electric heat pump. Advanced Heating and Air maintains the region's best service team, so rely on us to make your comfort our number one concern. Call 234-5052, and we're there for you. Abernathy Farm Supplies is located in the Alexander City Shopping Center right off of Cherokee Road. Now, Gina and Jim Ed Abernathy invite you by today. They carry a little bit of everything when it comes to your farm, your ranch, your home. I'm talking about feed, seed, fertilizer, year-round. Gravely lawnmowers. You're going to love this lawnmower here for your lawn. And a whole lot more. But it's all about service at Abernathy Farm Supplies, Alexander City Shopping Center. At Lynch Nissan of Auburn, you get a great deal and a great deal more. 
At Lynch Nissan, we get it. You've done your research, you know what you want, and we've got it. Stop by today and test drive the all-new Altima. We've got 30 in stock to choose from, and you can make one yours for just $18,738. And only Lynch Nissan has the all-new Nissan Rogue with over 50 in stock to choose from, starting at just $21,686. At Lynch Nissan of Auburn, it's a good day for a great deal. Lex Wedgworth has been the most trusted pest control company for a generation, and now we're proud to announce our new name, EnviroCare. You can expect the same high standards for all your pest control needs, and EnviroCare's exclusive Centricon Termite Colony Elimination System that provides the industry standard to protect your home or business. The EnviroCare Centricon Termite Protection protects your home year-round. Call the professionals of EnviroCare throughout Central East Alabama. Call for a free estimate. Nobody cares like EnviroCare, the next generation of full pest control for your home or business. Boaters in the Lake Martin area know whether you need service, maintenance, repairs, a great selection of pre-owned boats, or a brand new pontoon, Alex City Marine at the corner of 63 and 280 is there for you. Thanks to a record-setting sales year, Alex City Marine now has one of the finest pre-owned inventories they've ever had. Repairs, service, routine maintenance for all your boating needs. See the pros the locals know. Alex City Marine at the corner of 63 and 280. Check them out online at alexcitymarine.com. The Probate Judge's Office deals with important family issues like wills and estates and mental health issues. Experience matters. Melissa Reynolds has legal experience, is a longtime business owner, nonprofit executive director, and member of many civic and professional organizations. Melissa Reynolds is the right choice to be Tallapoosa County's next probate judge. This is Melissa Reynolds, and I am running for the Office of Probate Judge for Tallapoosa County, and I would appreciate your vote on November 6th. This message is paid for and approved by the office to elect Melissa Reynolds Probate Judge of Tallapoosa County. Adams Health and Rehab in Alexander City helps you get back to life faster. When you need the best rehabilitative care following surgery, a stroke, or heart attack, Adams Health and Rehab offers a comfortable, home-like atmosphere, private suites with phone and flat screen, even a secure Alzheimer's dementia unit, and highly skilled 24-hour nursing care. Adams Health and Rehab is here for you by helping you get back to life. Adams Health and Rehab, 256-329-0847. Heritage South Credit Union in Alexander City is your community credit union. And unlike the banks where you are a customer, at Heritage South Credit Union, you are a member. Heritage South Credit Union is a nonprofit organization, is owned by the members, benefits the members. The board of directors are local volunteers and not paid, and is insured by the NCUA. Heritage South Credit Union is all about you, the member, and not the profit. Stop by your local Heritage South Credit Union today in Alexander City or visit them online at myhscu.com. Welcome back into the second half here on the Wildcat Football Network. Benjamin Russell leads Chilton County 16-7. Opening second half kickoff kick directly to Nick McGee. He scoops it up about the 35-yard line, cruises across midfield, and he'll get it way down into Chilton County territory all the way down to the 37-yard line. So a great return to start this second half, Caleb. Yeah, you know, uh, Chilton County ended up having a kickoff from their own 25 and never really got a call from the referee on why, but that kind of helped the Wildcats right there. Nick McGee with a nice return, able to get it into Chilton County territory, and this is what me and Justin talked about at halftime. The Wildcats need to come out and get off to a good start in the second half, and the kick return team sets up the offense in prime position to be able to do that. Great field position. Wildcats will start shop at the Chilton County 37, just starting up the second half of play. As I watch our... Play-by-play, play, Brett Pritchard walking up the stairs with Terrell Owens, so we'll hopefully have both of them on here to start this second half here shortly, and clearly I will step aside for Terrell as we start this second half of play. Landon Cotney back there by himself in the backfield trying to get Zay Stowe's on a speed sweep formation, but uh, this one's going to be called back, and I'm going to step aside and let Terrell step in. All right. Terrell navigated his way all the way through that crowd. We'll welcome Terrell in. Terrell, you're in better shape than I am. I'm going to try to catch my breath. <laughs> Terrell, thanks for coming up here with us tonight. Oh, yeah, no problem. Well, just your moment tonight. Uh, what's it feel like seeing that number 80 out there painted on the field? Your your jersey retired tonight. Oh, man, it's, uh, honestly, it's a, a great honor. Um, first of all, I have to give thanks to God for, you know, obviously – being here tonight, uh, again, just to see my name, uh, my, my number painted out on the field, it just gave me, uh, gave me a moment of reflection uh, about everything that I've been able to accomplish and 
Uh, ben Russell High School in Alexander City is where it all started for me. And um, I think if anybody has followed my career, they, they, know the, they know the rest of the history. Absolutely. Terrell, you had a long, <laughs> wonderful career. I know it started at UT Chattanooga in college. And, uh, you know, I know you uh, really paid respects to them by having your Hall of Fame ceremony there. Just talk about that and what it meant to be back in Chattanooga to have that moment there. Well, I mean, just like Chattanooga, also synonymous uh, with here um, in Alexander City, this is where it started, you know, and um, I honestly had no idea that I would play beyond the collegiate level. Um, it was afforded an opportunity to, to play uh, football there at University of Tennessee at Chattanooga, and I just, uh, again, I was a little kid that, that had a desire to, to do, whatever, do whatever, it, whatever it was, you know, whether it was football or basketball. Um, I just wanted to play, um, and I think that was my motivation from high school on uh, into college. Uh, didn't really get to play a lot in high school. Um, again, you know, Coach Savarese, he'll tell you, I was one of those kids that always worked hard. Um, anytime you, you heard anybody moving around in the weight room, it was me trying to get bigger, faster, and stronger. And so uh, it's a really a, a testament of, of what I was able to do um, outside of what everybody knew of me. Um, and again, I think if I could be of any inspiration to a lot of kids out there is uh, never give up on your dreams. Never give up on, on, on your hopes. Um, just always keep working um, because you, you never know um, what's, what's, what lies ahead. I think that's the thing. And let me give an update to everybody listening out there. Second down and seven for the Wildcats at the Chilton County 10-yard line as they move left to right. Terrell Owens up here with me. He's going to stay up here for a little while, and we're going to continue to talk about his night here at Benjamin Russell High School. As Landon Cotney takes the snap, going to hand off to Carl Russell around the right side. Five-yard line, going to die for the pylon. Did he get it? Yes, he did. Touchdown, Wildcats. The Wildcats uh, here on homecoming night and the retirement of Terrell Owens' jersey. Terrell had another touchdown there for the Wildcats. I, 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 I spoke to the team uh, yesterday. And I told him, you know, you know, for the seniors, this is their last time. Uh, this is the last hoorah. Uh, you want to go out with a bang. You want to go out on a high note. Obviously, they have more games to play, but you only get one, one senior homecoming. That's it. And so, uh, especially for the, uh, the the freshmen, the sophomore, and juniors, uh, they look up to these seniors, and they want to be able to set a, these seniors need to set an example uh, for these younger guys going into next year. So uh, uh, they're doing well right now. Great words of wisdom there, uh, Terrell. Is uh, we'll wait the extra point here to try to go up 23-7 to seven with 10 minutes to go here in the third quarter against Chilton County. The Wildcats have found themselves in this game. Last couple of weeks been a struggle, Terrell, for the Wildcats on offense, but seem to be getting it back on track here tonight. Uh, there's a penalty flag on the way. I've got to talk to you about this jacket you've got on. I know that uh, you're, you're, you've been driven your whole career, and that's one thing a lot of people have admired about you. And You just mentioned that, the, the hard work, the extra things when nobody's watching that pays off at the end of the day. And uh, your career in the NFL and what you did on the field earned you the right to wear that jacket. And just talk about that and, and that moment when you got that phone call that, that, that let you know you, you've been inducted into the Hall of Fame. Well, I think it was bittersweet. I think if anybody has followed, you know, the last two or three years uh, of me being nominated into the Hall of Fame, yes. and uh, I think uh, everyone is uh, aware of, uh, <laughs> you know, me having my induction uh, there in Chattanooga. Um, again, like I said, I, I, I know what I rightfully earned. And that wasn't, you know, they didn't rightfully induct me when I felt like I should have uh, the first go around. And so, uh, again, to, to be able to, to wear this gold jacket, obviously it's an honor. Uh, it's a privilege to do that. Um, but at the end of the day, this is what I, this is what I earned. Well, and, for all of us in Alex City, Terrell, you know, <laughs> the first time you were nominated, I mean, it should have been a no-brainer because you look at getting into the Hall of Fame, you look at what you do on the field, you look at your right. accomplishments, and if that's what you elect people to do, then that's what you should do. And, I, and I, I'm with you there. I think Randy would echo the same sentiments, and, and I can see where that frustration crept in with you. But getting what you ultimately deserved, getting that Hall of Fame jacket, so proud from a standpoint of the community of Alexander City because you look at major college teams around the country, how a lot of them don't even have a Hall of Famer. And so Alexander City now can, can say that Terrell Owens, uh, a native son, uh, is in the NFL Hall of Fame. It's such an exclusive club to be in that but I thought the, the the things that you said just a little bit ago to these kids did you ever envision Terrell when you were at Benjamin Russell High School where you'd be at this moment? Um, no not at all um, and as I again like you said I alluded to earlier um, this is where it began for me uh, this kid that didn't have the most talent um, but you know inside I had a desire to be something 
Um, I didn't know I was going to become a professional football player by any means, um, but I had the desire, I had the dedication, and I had the discipline that took me from here, Benjamin Russell High School, to UT Chattanooga, uh, to an illustrious 15-year uh, career um, with 49ers, Philadelphia Eagles, the Dallas Cowboys, and I had a stint a uh, year each with uh, the Buffalo Bills and, and the Cincinnati Bengals. So um, for me, you know, to be from Alexander City, Alabama, and now into the Pro Football Hall of, Hall of Fame, like I said, I, I, I'll be lying to you and anybody listening, um, you know, for me to say that I, you know, I thought I thought this was going to happen. Mm -hmm. um, but again, like I said, I mean, I, I said it earlier, um, live pregame um, with Lizzie earlier, um, I played with so many great athletes that were far better than I was here in high school. You know, you think about Alan Barnett, the Cedric Kendricks, uh, the Latravius Richardsons, uh, the Michael Allens, you know, people that, you know, that was part of that class of 92 sure. that grew up with and, and, and went to school. They know those names. These guys were far better than I was. Derek Hall, Ricky Morgan, mm -hmm. um, those were receivers that, that, that started um, my junior and senior year. And so for me, it was always, like I said, that desire in, to, in, in me to be something I just didn't want it to be. I didn't want to be average. Yeah. Um, I was looking at these kids on the sideline. I was one of those kids on the sideline watching everybody on Friday night get to make plays, <laughs> and, and I never got. I got really got an opportunity to until like my junior senior year. Good stuff there, Terrell. A couple more questions before I let you go. Is the Wildcats kickoff? Chilton County gets it at their own 37. The defense drive them back right there. Anybody out there? you want to give thanks to or somebody that was an inspiration to you, not just here at Benjamin Russell and Alexander City, but going along the way in your career and kind of keeping you uh, focused and kind of keeping you driven. Is there somebody out there that was that special person to you? Um, I mean, there was a lot of people along the way. Uh, Coach Savarese, who presented me uh, pr uh, before the game, um, he, didn't let, he didn't let me quit uh, for whatever reason. Um, obviously, he must have, saw, uh, must have seen something in me uh, to not let me quit. Um, and I think, you know, obviously that was a good choice. Um, I, I played a number of sports when I was here. I ran track when I didn't play baseball and, and vice versa. Sure. Um, and obviously I played basketball as well. And like I said, I just had a passion and a love just to be, uh, just to compete. And, and that's what led me to, to, to where I was, you know, beyond uh, my college years. Um, again, I was always competing, doing something. Um, again, when I went to Chattanooga, obviously on a football scholarship, I walked on the basketball team. Um, my coach, uh, my second year, uh, he didn't think that I would be able to play um, basketball. But he basically said to me when I walked into the office after the season, and he said, you know, if you can make our, our, our basketball team, that'll tell me what type of athlete you are. Mm -hmm. And so he allowed me to, to walk on. I ended up making it. Uh, and I played three years basketball. And again, like I said, I'm, I'm a competitor. I didn't, uh, like I said, starting stemming from, from, from high school on, I just didn't want to uh, be average. And I think if I can be of any inspiration to a lot of kids out there, um, if you're not the player that you want to be today, do something about it. You know, you see either you do something or do nothing. And don't be afraid to be great. And I think that was part of uh, what made me me and what a lot of people didn't know about me coming out of Alexander City is that I, I wasn't afraid to be great. You know, I mean, I was quiet, reserved here uh, and even in Chattanooga. Um, but again, once I began to, to establish that confidence uh, within myself, then I think, you know, everything kind of just, you know, fell into place. One more thing for you, Terrell, before I let you go. And a little update now here on the field. Chilton County with its second and 10 at midfield, going to hand off right side, going to drive forward. Wildcats lead at 23-7, 7.43 to go here in the third. Terrell, you come back for the alumni basketball game against Coosa County two years now. Right. Uh, and you know, this is kind of an event that for both counties and both of these schools is such a rival in basketball. You showed out a little bit. He's sports center top ten there from a, <laughs> right. from a pickup basketball game. Right. And, uh, you know, there's some top athletes in that game. A day right. is Thomas. And right. Was Jamario Tuck. just took Jamario Moon yeah, in that game? Exactly. Jamario Moon, who played in uh, – had a stint uh, there in the NBA and plays overseas now. Uh, just played in the big three. Um, but, again, like I said, just coming back, and I'm hoping these kids realize that it's more than just, just, a, just a basketball game. I'm hoping that they look at us and, and realize that the opportunities that – they see us take advantage of, mm -hmm. then they can be able to do the same thing. Um, again, like I said, if we can make it, I know especially speaking personally, if I can make it and nobody kind of knew anything about me, especially knew that I was going to do the things that I did beyond high school and even college, if I can make it, they can make it. They just got to put forth that, that hard work. And I, and I challenge the parents out there to really continue to encourage the kids, be uplifting, and uh, be supportive. Terrell, uh, good stuff there as Chilton County drives it down to the 30-yard line. Uh, it'll be second down and about four coming up as they have it 
at the Wildcats 30. Wildcats lead at 20, 37. Terry, let me personally say thank you for, for what you've done for the community, Absolutely. what you've done uh, tonight, and what an honor it is for you, I know, to, to be recognized on the field and what an humbling uh, experience that must be. And uh, any kid that, that's standing down there, as you just mentioned on the sideline, as a 15, 16, 17-year-old kid just dreaming of what it might be one day, right. they can look at you come back to this town and they can say, Man, you know, if I work hard enough and I can do the things that I need to do and stay focused, I can be that guy. I can be that guy. And, Absolutely. You know, I'm going to say one other thing about it, Terrell, and you elaborate on this. Coming back to this community, letting these kids see you, how important is that to you? I mean, it comes with the territory. Uh, like I said, there's a lot of things that I was able to learn along the way. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of things that were being taught, and I kind of just observed from, from afar, you know, from, from guys that were more mature than I was, um, male figures that, that I looked up to, you know, from players, um, coaches. Um, you know, they, they enabled me to become the man that I am today. Uh, so, again, like I said, I, you know, you got to believe in something. you got to be convicted. Uh, you got to be, be able to stand up for yourself, and, and that's what I've done throughout the course of my career. Um, I think, you know, my just – just what I, the way that I've been able to conduct myself away from the game of football, away from the football field, I think that speaks, really should speak more volumes than anything that I did on the football field because, again, when it came to the Hall of Fame, those are some of the things that the writers brought into question as far as my character. Um, they basically overlooked my body of work yeah. um, and didn't rightfully you know, induct me when I should have been, um, bringing up other things uh, other than my accomplishment on the field. So, again, when it comes to my character, um, I think that speaks volumes, and I'm hoping these kids can look up to me. Um, I feel like I've been a great role model, never been in any off-the-field trouble. That's true, absolutely. Uh, just being a, a great representative, number one of my family, God, and, and just this community in itself. Absolutely. Terrell, I'm going to ask you to stay just a few seconds with me. Uh, help me commentate here as Randy will slide back in with 440 here in just a <laughs> A little bit in the third quarter. Chilton County's driven it down. They have it third and 11 at the Wildcat 25 here on homecoming night. Terrell Owens retirement jersey night. A little false start here. Right. What's your what's your interpretation here of the, the Wildcats uh, here tonight? You've been on the sideline down there. Uh, you've been watching them uh, up close and personal. Uh, got off to a slow start, but at 23 unanswered here. Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, I think they they. They're kind of, you know, soaking in what I told them uh, yesterday at practice. Um, you know, I, I, I check in from time to time through family members on how, how, how the team is doing. I have two nephews playing on the team. Yes. Uh, Zay Stowes and uh, – Very Kay talented. Uh, exactly. And, and Caleb. Uh, Caleb Stowes. Wearing your jersey tonight. Right. Number and, 80. Right. And so, uh, you know, I just told them, you know, based on what I've heard is that they lacked – you know that that ability to really wrap up and tackle yeah and, and that's the thing the physical you, part of exactly it. and that's what that's what you that's what you need defense you know wins championships the offense they put people in butts in the seats that's it. they sell popcorn um but again you don't you, know a little bit about popcorn exactly exactly <laughs> so but again if you want to win games and obviously they're going to use this as a, as a teaching tool going into the playoffs here pretty soon um they got to take advantage of opportunities get get themselves off the field uh wrap up tackle um and then i guess eliminate drives and and put points on the board. Timeout on the field. Terrell Owens here with us. We're going to take a timeout. Terrell, thank you so much for coming up here thank tonight. You. Congratulations on all your accomplishments. Appreciate we you appreciate guys. everything yeah. that you've done. Stay tuned. More of the Wildcat Football Network right after this. If you're seeing the American cockroach, throw up the red flag. Ladybugs, throw up the red flag. Ants and swarming termites, throw up the red flag. And kudzu bugs, Throw up the red flag. That's Red Flag Pest Control. So the caution is on. Call Red Flag Pest Control today. I'm Scott Davis with Red Flag Pest Control. Celebrating our 10th anniversary. Call me today, 256-825-0430. Welcome to Alex City Food Shop, your local shell station located at Highway 280 and Airport Drive. Fill up with Shell V-Power Nitro plus premium gasoline and get the best total engine protection you can get, period. Stop by any time, day or night, open 24-7, and check out all the great specials and all your favorite convenience store items. Keep that car clean with a touch-free car wash, where your six wash is always free. Also, be sure to use your FRN reward card and save big at the pump. Lake Martin Building Supply, located on Davil Road in Alexander City, owners Tiffany and Michael Huff believe in constantly improving their inventory for you. From deer corn, feeders, to Valspar paint, the top quality lumber, and RV section, Lake Martin Building Supply welcomes each customer that comes through the door with a warm hello and a pleasant goodbye 
and to come back to see us real soon. That's Lake Martin Building Supply, Dable Road. Call today, 256-234-5500. This kitchen, open concept, complete with a modern art gallery, and the master bath, masterpiece. A home gym! Channels, looking good, Steve. But the only problem, who are you? I don't live here, because a real estate agent never showed us this place. Your local Century 21 team is Lake Area Realty. Find your perfect dream home online at lakearearealty.net. Carlisle Heating and Air, located on Highway 280 in Kelton, is your certified Ream, Fujitsu, and Air Oasis dealer. We proudly service all makes and models, and you can get a free quote today. We offer maintenance agreements to ensure your system is running properly. We can even improve your home's air quality. Call today and be comfortable tonight. 256-234-0019. That's Carlisle Heating and Air in Kelton, Alabama. At a and Plumbing, you can count on us for dependable, quality service. Our staff is professional, neat, clean, and courteous. We're a fully licensed and insured plumbing company. Call on a and Plumbing for any plumbing, sewer, or septic problems. We provide a comprehensive line of plumbing repair and installation services to keep your home's plumbing systems in top order. When you need plumbing service, call on the professionals at a and Plumbing. Service at its best, when you need it most. Ellick City Auto Collision on Davil Road is growing and is happy to announce Chris Davis is back on staff and bringing another 30 years of paint and body experience to Ellick City Auto Collision. At Ellick City Auto Collision, we're here to serve all your auto body paint and collision needs. We work with and file all insurance plans with fast turnaround and all work is guaranteed for life as long as you own the vehicle. Come find out about the lake's best body and paint services and remember, you save auto rental is on site so you're never out of a ride. Experience convenience and fair pricing all at Ellick City Auto Collision on Davil Road in Alexander City, where our business is a wreck. Stop by for a free quote today. Toothmasters here in Alexander City, dentist Dr. Joni Price. You're going to love her. I love her because it's all about quality, cosmetic dentistry, crowns, bridges. She is also a family dentist. Fillings, general dental care, lumineers, root canals, teeth whitening. That's my friend, Dr. Joni Price, dentist at Toothmasters in Alex City. 256-329-8401. Welcome back, everyone, to the Wildcat Football Network, fourth down and four. Chilton County with a shotgun snap, going to roll out to the left here, trying to find some room. Lasseter under pressure. Kashari Ross had him. Gonzo had him. He's going to get out of there, 25-20-15. Gets down the sideline. My goodness, what an elusive quarterback in Lasseter, Shaquem Lasseter. Had him dead to rights, going to stop him for uh, no gain, going to get the ball back, and he just, Randy finds a way to squeeze out of that one and pick up a first down. And a big guy to go along with it. I was going to say there in the first half, he's not one of those guys that was like Tyree a few years ago where he makes a whole bunch of people miss. He was more of a straight-ahead bull-type quarterback back there at about 6'2", 190, but I'm not saying that anymore. He's making a lot of people miss out there. Bro. Yeah, he has. Uh, shotgun formation, uh, going to hand off to the big tailback, and Wildcat's going to get him in the backfield. Dropping for a loss there. Back here at the 15-yard line, so a three-yard loss there on first down and 10 from the 12. Wildcat defense bowing up down here inside the red zone. As uh, 23 unanswered on the board for the Wildcats here since Chilton County started the game with that touchdown. Outstanding to see Terrell come up here with you, Brett. He's, yeah, um, I very, thought it was very enlightening what he added about the Hall of Fame induction. Made a lot of sense. And I couldn't hear it, so I'm looking forward to listening <laughs> in later. Hand off up the middle to the 10-yard line. So, going to get those couple of yards back they lost. And Chilton County has an offensive lineman a little slow in getting up. I got one more guest coming your way here yeah. shortly, okay. Chad Wilson. Oh, glad to have uh, Chad. Uh, man, you're talking about this has been a star-studded night. Yeah, tonight. it's homecoming, and uh, we're bringing all the stars out. And I'm thrilled for Chad and what they have um, had accomplished, he and his brother with the Wilson Brothers Band here recently over in Nashville and all around the country. And uh, to go from Terrell to him, pretty good night here in Ellick City. Around the right side, 10-yard line. Wildcats stand him up there at the 7. Going to drive forward to the, to the 6 there. It'll be third down, coming up actually be fourth down. So fourth down, they need to get inside the two to get a first down. Can get a first and goal there inside the two. 
And Randy and Brett, this has been a great drive by Chilton County here, but really eating up a lot of clock and playing from behind down by 16 points right now. It's still a two-possession game, but they're going to have to score right here on fourth down and get the two-point conversion. Absolutely. Hand off right side. Wildcats force him back inside. Good job there. Not allowing him to turn the corner and bottle him up at the five. He's going to be short of a first down by three yards. So the Wildcat defense holds with a minute and 50 seconds to go here in the third quarter. They lead it 23-7 to and take the football back over on offense. And hopefully can uh, string together a few first downs, get this ball out away from our goal line, leading by 16 points right now, 23-7, to with a minute 50 to go here in the third. But terrible field position. How many plays on that drive, Caleb? I uh, wasn't able to count. Well, Caleb wasn't counting, so I'm going to guess. <laughs> 15? It, was a lot. it had to be. I, up I'd there. say about 15. We're thrilled to have Jalen up here, Brett. I didn't realize Jalen was coming tonight, or we'd have a role for her. There's no doubt. Well, let me tell Reynolds. you, she looks the best of all of I us. I can get her in a picture, and Man. I just told you with Terrell up here that well. uh, I just made uh, the the booth look a lot better than when you and I are taking yeah. pictures together. We've had a really nice night tonight. Yeah, Coach we have. And it's been my a great friend night Alvin here. Briggs here with us, and um, hopefully we can close this thing off with a win. Yeah, Carl Russell around left side, ran over a guy, and then was dropped there about the seven, eight yard line. Twenty two will hit you in the mouth, my friend. Great player there for Chilton County. Kind of looks like our twenty two, and Brett Pitts right. over there at middle linebacker. This is Tristan Schmidthorst. I'm gonna give him five foot eight. 190 pounds, and he sticks his headgear directly in your chest each time he hits you. Go to the right side this time and get up to the 10 and just nowhere to go there, and it'll be third down coming up for the Wildcats. And staying in that wishbone formation and do pick up uh, somewhat staying ahead of the chains, I would call it, Brett. This is a third down possession play. We'll call it about three and a half yards on that four-yard gain. And the clock will roll under one minute to go here in the third with the Wildcats leading 23-7 to and happy to let that clock run, Brett. Absolutely. Staying in that wishbone formation. That's Abercrombie actually dotting the full back there along with Carl Russell Jr. and Keaton Young. Hand off left side, and he's going to try to squirt forward. He's not going to get there. So there's going to be fourth down coming up, and that's going to end the fourth, the third quarter. And... Tell everybody again, Randy, who we've got coming up as a guest here. Yeah, going to have Chad Wilson starting the fourth quarter with us whenever we come back here after this break. And thrilled to have Chad up here. Chad, a year younger than me, two, two than you, Brett, and uh, has hung in there with a political crowd in Nashville, as he just told oh, me. A political crowd in Nashville. A political <laughs> crowd, and uh, he has somehow – Worked his way through all of that political yeah, Chad, nightmare to, to make his way through it over Chad the last and his brother, years. really, really good performers. As that ends the third quarter, we'll go to the fourth with the Wildcats leading to 23-7 here on Homecoming Night. You're listening to the Wildcat Football Network. Benton Clearing and Grading is Cody and L.D. Benton. They get your job in sight. Moving dirt is a clean job to them. Clearing a lot for your home or business is what they do, and they do it right. Call LD or Cody today at 256-397-2531 or 397-2532 for a quote today. I promise you, they'll do the job right. That's Benton Clearing and Great. Baden Toyota of Sylacauga is your hometown Toyota dealer. That means you will always receive hometown service, hometown savings, all from hometown people. That's just the Baden way. It doesn't matter if your hometown is Alexander City, the Lake Martin area, or Sylacauga. You are always treated like family. Come experience what a hometown dealership is all about. Baden Toyota of Sylacauga. Online at toyotaofsilicaga.com. Baden Toyota of Sylacauga. Located on Highway 280 in Sylacauga. Morrison Haynes Law Firm in Alexander City are proud members of our community. Our team of dedicated employees live, work, and support our local communities, and we are all actively engaged in our hometowns. Just like all area players, parents, and coaches, we are committed to the betterment of our local area and want to wish all of our area teams the best of luck this fall. The Morris Haynes Law Firm, a proud supporter of all area athletics. Harold Orthodontics, downtown Alexander City on Alabama Street, is doing something really crazy. Dr. Bill Harold says, come on by here if you're an Alabama fan or if you're an Auburn fan and we can fit you in some braces. 
Wow. Think about it. Instead of hollering Roll Tide and War Eagle, all you got to do is smile. Smile, Roll Tide. Smile, War Eagle. For all your brace needs, call Dr. Harold at 256-234-6353. The door is open, the beer is cold, and the biscuits are hot at Foshee's Watts on Dable Road in Alexander City. Fishing season is in year-round, and live bait is available. Non-ethanol gas is available along with propane and pellet ice. So come on by and see what we're all about, where the kitchen is open Monday through Friday early at Foshee's Watts on Dable Road in Alexander City. And tell them old Katie sent you right here from the Front Porch WAXC TV. Hidley Towers is an affordable senior citizen community located in Alexander City on Highway 22 East, where spacious one bedrooms are available now. Great location, peaceful setting, comfortable living, where pets are allowed and utilities are included. Call today to find out more about Alexander City's best kept secret, 256 329 where your family at Hidley Towers. That's 256 329 for the most complete real estate service, River Bank & Trust has it all covered. Whether you're purchasing land, a lot for future construction, or buying your dream home, River Bank & Trust can help. With conventional, jumbo, VA, FHA, and USDA loans with competitive interest rates, River Bank & Trust can close your loan from start to finish in 30 days or less. Let Melanie Foshi, Randy Dawkins, Abby Guy, or Phil Blassingame put their nearly 100 years of combined experience to work for you, simplifying the buying process. River Bank & Trust, for complete real estate service in the Lake Martin area. Loves clothes and her phone. Still willing to be seen with you in public, depending on the location. Jamie at 14 and you. Available for a limited time only. Don't wait to make the memories that will last a lifetime at Walt Disney World Resort, the place where dreams come true. Book your next Disney trip with Fairy Tale Journeys. Call Suzanne Hayes or Kim Pritchard today at 256-825-2668. Welcome back, everyone, here to the Wildcat Football Network. 23-7, to Wildcats lead heading into the fourth quarter. Got Chad Wilson up here, and I don't need to really introduce him because if you follow any type of music, you know he and his brother are some of the top performing artists right now coming out of Nashville, Tennessee, and right here from Tallapoosa County. And uh, glad to have him along with Terrell Owens. Man, we've just been lined up tonight. I don't know what we owe this honor. His gamble really gets pressured there, gets the punt off, hits at the 43 it's going to go out of bounds there. So, Chilton County have the ball there. Hey, Chad, good to see you, brother. Glad man. to have you up here with us tonight. Good to be home, man. I tell you what, it's a big night. I, I couldn't have been home and not come to watch all this. It's a, for Terrell to be here and for the retirement of his jersey, uh, first one in history. It is. So, that's a, that's a real big night. And, you know, you stand by Terrell, and he, he really is a humble guy, and you talk about – you know, you sit there and you process what he really accomplished in his career as one of the top receivers all time. I mean, really just right behind Jerry Rice uh, in, in about every category. And uh, he's just uh, a dynamic player. Nothing else you can really say. And got what he ultimately deserved with the, the induction of the Hall of Fame. But I, I want to talk about you and your brother. Your brother's not here tonight. You said he's on vacation. How do you? How do you pull that? That ball's tipped and almost intercepted there. Chad, we're going to interchange plays here as we talk. But, Chad, talk about this ride to, to where you guys have been. You guys have always loved music, been involved. But, uh, like I asked Terrell, did you ever see yourself where you are? Nashville's a great city. It's a tough place to make it because so yeah. many people go there with the same dreams and aspirations you guys had. Just talk about this ride. Well, for sure, there's a lot of competition, and we still deal, deal with that day in and day out. Of course. We have to get, you know, we get played on the radio and those spots are not easy to get. There's somebody that's ready to take take those spots, you know. They're, they're like gold. Yes. Uh, very very precious. And uh, we, we, we very humble that we get our shot and uh, we're going to try to just keep keep the momentum going. We got a new, uh, a new video coming out on the 16th, uh, which will be our second video off the, this record. And we hope to get a third single off this record before we uh, start recording the next one but uh yeah we're, it's been real good the single has really done good for us i think this young man just wanted to show everybody in the stands how far he could throw it because this one was about 10 yards out of bounds but he just finally reared back and threw it about 60 yards almost into the stands over here and complete it'll bring up fourth down and eight for chilton county but 
you know, like you said, how do you navigate those waters in Nashville, Tennessee, when there's so many people vying for those very few spots? And you guys are you guys have made it, man. You guys are known. I mean, you've got videos, you've got singles now, and I know you want to continue to grind and work. You don't ever feel like you've gotten where you want to be, and that's what keeps you hungry and keeps you growing. But uh, how, how do you, if you got some, like I asked Terrell about these kids on the sideline, all these musicians that have aspirations of being where you guys are one day, what, what do you do? Just stay on the grind? Well, I, I, the, the most simplest answer I can give you is just like with y'all, y'all got a great staff. A football team, it takes, it takes more than one person. It takes a good team of people. And what we've, ha- what we've had to do is we've had to surround ourselves with people that we really trust, people that we know that's going to make decisions on our, based on our be- best interest, even when we're not around. And uh, we've been re- very, very fortunate. We've got a great uh, manager, producer. We've got a great uh, uh, marketing team. We, got a, we, got a, we just got a great team of people around us, and we trust them. And uh, they do a lot of work for us. They do all the behind stuff that make what we do seem easy, but uh, none of it is easy. But uh, that's a, that's a secret, you know. It takes it it, it takes more than who we are sure. to be able to do what we do. And uh, anybody that's had success will will tell you that they didn't do it alone. Yeah, and I think you can look at sports and music kind of in the same light because if you look at a baseball player. You can be wonderful as a baseball player, but you get signed and you go to you go to single A and you find out how rough it is out there in those old cheap yeah. charter buses and and not getting paid a lot of money and you start to question, man, am I doing what I need to do? And the only way you never get to the big leagues is just keep your head down and keep grinding. Yeah. And you know the same way. Here's fourth down coming up for Chilton County, high snap, and Lasher handles it, runs around the left side. He's going to scramble for another first down. This kid's talented. He is very, talented. very, very good quarterback for Tal Morris. He picks up another first down on fourth down. But, but do you agree with me on that on that analogy there? Absolutely, I do. Yes, I do. It's a music kind of, you know, sports comparison. I know that kind of sometimes maybe not make sense, but you got to navigate all these artists that are trying to get there where you guys are, and and, and baseball players and and football players too, and basketball players trying to to do the same thing. Chilton County at the Wildcat 30, first down and 10. Shotgun formation for Laster. Wildcat's up 23-7, going to hand off left side, found a seam, going to get outside, 30-25, dragging tacklers down to the 20. Man, good Lord, what a run inside the 15 down to the 14. I know you know these guys in and out, but I tell you, they played some ball that first half. And number 22 is who I mean. Brett Pitts. It seemed like they've been calling his name every Well, we do every week. Like multiple times. He's a middle linebacker, and he's a junior, and he's a heck of a player for a lack of better terms. And he just has a motor. And he's one of those guys that uh, really understands the game, sees the plays. And, you know, just like in any sport, if you if you really understand the game, Chad, it, it kind of slows down for you. And everybody else looks like uh, they're in slow motion and you're in, you're in fast motion. And that's what it is is a – there's a penalty that will tack on some yards. So, Chilton County uh, will, will have this ball inside the Wildcat 10 around the seven-yard line here with 10.50 to go in the ball game. Wildcats lead at 23-7. They'll line up in the wishbone formation. Lasher to go under center here in a two-tight set. Handoff going to navigate between the tackles, 5-3, down to the two-yard line. So, it'll be second down and goal there. But you're right. I mean, Brett Pitts is a stellar guy. He makes double-digit tackles about every night. And, uh, uh Good players stand out on the field. They do. They amongst do. the crowd. So, well, Chad, uh, what's up next for you guys? I know you uh, have a, a very busy schedule and slate. Let's call this play, and then we'll get to uh, you and your brother and um, talk about what's coming down the line for you guys. Laster fumbles a snap. He's just going to scoop it up and run into the end zone. He is a that's, big boy. That's the kind of player he is. Most guys would have panicked and fell down on the ball there. He scoops it up and runs it in for a touchdown, and – it's 23-13, and it's a 10-point ball game. And uh, they'll try to go for two and cut it to eight, make it a one-possession game with 10:07 to go here in the ball. This game's not over. Wildcats up by 10 now. Need to figure out a way to, to close it out, and they'll go into the wishbone formation. Lasseter under center now. Takes the snap. Going to roll the pocket to the right, and he's going to throw back and this pass is intercepted in the end zone. Good job by Kobe Crabb. As they try to get all the flow going to the right, and they come back and throw it up to the left, and the pass was picked off. And 
So the conversion is no good. 23-13, Jabosh Motor score, 10 7 Chad Wilson up here with me now. And, Chad, what's up next for you guys? Well, we've got the uh, Pensacola Songwriters Festival coming up this coming week. I think we're going to do a couple of shows at the Mighty Flow, Alabama. So we've got uh, five or six shows coming up all on the Gulf Coast. And uh, – and then on the 16th, our new video comes out for Loving You, Loving On Me. So we got a lot, a lot of good stuff com- coming up. That's good, man. Well, I tell you what, can't thank you guys enough. Always so humble to come back here and so generous to be on. Your brother was on at the uh, uh, Polar Plunge a couple of years ago when we were broadcasting on a Saturday. You got a little bit better gig than he did. It was about mm, 30 degrees, 28 degrees with a 20-mile-an-hour wind and snow flurries that day. And all us idiots jumped in the water for some odd reason, but it was for a good cause. Uh, and uh, but it's a little bit warmer tonight, actually uh, a lot warmer. As it's still humid here in in late September, early October. But Chad, uh, thank you so much for what you guys do. Wonderful career, keep it going, brother. We're pulling for you, man. I sure appreciate it, brother. Thank you so much. Sure, good to be here with y'all tonight. Absolutely, and go Wildcats. Thank you, Chad Wilson there and his brother on vacation in North Carolina. Here's an onside kick. Wildcats able to scoop it up. Thank you, Chad. Appreciate you, brother. Good luck on everything coming down the line. And uh, Wildcats get the ball. 10.04 to go at the 48-yard line. So they will control from there. 10.04 to go in the ball game. Wildcats lead it by 10, 23-13. Landon Cotney will bring the offense back onto the field. But a great night tonight here for us. Uh, Terrell Owens and Chad Wilson, uh, two two really, really successful guys, man. And, uh, of course, homecoming tonight. And Carly Royster, congratulations, Carly. on Congratulations to all the nominees and maids. And it's just been a great night. It's been a packed house here at the Sportsplex. Everybody shows up. Hand off up the middle. Good run. 35, actually the 40-yard line into the 39. is. And Carl Russell's had a good night running the football tonight. As, uh, he picked up about... 17, 18 yards and a first down for the Wildcats. He's kind of finding his way. That's just a straight ISO give right in the middle. It's looked good tonight. Good decision by him, just holding off until that block's made in front of him, makes a linebacker miss, and gets well into the secondary for a first down down to the 39. Landing quick screen, just couldn't get it out there to Zay Stowes, who already has a touchdown catch tonight. And uh, I think you're going to see the Wildcats go back to that play a lot more moving down the stretch because he is a – very, very dangerous receiver out here on the end. If you can get matched up coverage, Randy, and he can catch a block, he's a guy that can go the distance anywhere on the field. So uh, Wildcats will start from the 39 again here on second down and Need 10. Need to close this thing out. 23-13, to 13, Wildcats lead, 9.43 to go. We're sitting there with two timeouts, the Tigers with 2-2. Two, two. But well into their territory at the 39 break. Got to take advantage of yeah, this. Yeah, Carl off the right side. And, you know, Randy, he's that downhill runner. He hits the hole. He was met at the line of scrimmage, but got three, almost four yards there. He's a guy that's always falling forward. He's that kind of back you look for that, that pushes the pile instead of gets pushed backwards. That's still a tough possession play here. We'll call it third down and seven on the board. Clock will roll under nine minutes to go to close this one out. Very quick football games. It's only 8.55 on real time. Only 9.12 to go in the ball game. Trips down here to the bottom. Landon's got the ball. Drops back to pass. Throws a pass over here. It's almost intercepted. Double coverage looking for Jacoby Gamble and Coach Smith looking at Landon like it's a very dangerous across the field pass and double coverage. It almost was intercepted. And Randy, I hate to say it, if he grabs that one, there's nothing but green grass all the way to the end zone for him. And Wildcats still... Only up 10 points with 9.03 to go in this ball game. Yeah, no option left here than to send Jacoby Gamble out there to punt this football and hopefully pin them back deep. Brett, we are very lucky they didn't cash in that uh, that drive two drives ago when they were stopped inside the five-yard line on a fourth and goal from the, what, from about the six? Yeah, absolutely. So fourth down coming up, got to punt the football. Gamble gets it. And he got that one good, aimed it to the corner over there, and it goes out of bounds. Let's see where they say it went out. Nine. He's still walking over there. That ball was skied. Man, he is still walking up the sideline to the 21-yard line. Thought it may have been on down the field a little bit, but Jacoby got it up high but angled it too far, Randy. But Chilton County with decent field position at their own 21 with 8.57 to go in the ball game, trailing 23-13. to 13. 
and they've been able to sustain drives. I would call it about a 15-play drive two ago, and they sustained one and knocked it into the end zone on this previous drive. So uh, we haven't been able to get them off the field. Couldn't get them off the field on a fourth down and nine. That was a struggle. So hopefully we can here. Shotgun formation going to hand off. Man, big hold, 25-30, up to the 31-32. Man, more of that same medicine off the left side now running the football for Chilton County, number 23, Samuel Smith. So Marquell Jackson in on the stop, trying to get this Wildcat defense fired up. But Randy, they got a host of running backs over there that can tote the rock. They do. Pokey Norris in the backfield. Kashari Ross back there. They fight through arm tackles and – Get the ball to a first down gain. They're going to hand off again up the middle, man, powering across the 35-36 yard line. Right now, the offensive line for the Chilton County Tigers starting to push on them, Caleb, back there as we started off the football game kind of similar to this. Yeah, you know, you can tell Coach Morrison probably went in at halftime and challenged his offensive linemen because they got off to a good start, but then it looked like they may have gotten a little tired there in the first half. But here in this second half, They've really been able to sustain some drives and have really just – Wildcat defense has not had an answer for them. Yeah, another two, three yards there as they had them stymied at their line of scrimmage, Randy. But this last drive resulted in a touchdown for Chilton County, and they got a third and about four coming up. Actually going to be about yeah, a little less than four there at the 39-yard line coming up. Yeah, Marquell Jackson, Gonzalez in on that stop. Definitely four downs here. With the clock rolling under 7.43 and counting, 23 to 13, Wildcats lead, third down and three. And they've been happy to keep the ball on the ground. How many deep passes have we seen from them here tonight? Not, Any? Not many. One or two, the one he threw way out of bounds over here. But going to hand off up the middle, choosing to stay on the ground, trying to run it at the Wildcats. Not going to get much, maybe a half a yard. They're going to say no yards there. So fourth down and three. 7.20 to go in the ball game, trailing by 10. Chilton County will probably elect to keep their offense on the field. Two timeouts left. We'll wait and see the play clock rolling already under 20 seconds. They will keep Lassiter on the field. May try to get the Wildcats to jump here. Fourth down and three, gotta be disciplined. Gonna run the back out of the backfield and go empty set now. Ball in the middle of the field, five seconds. Send a man in motion, left to right. Snap it with two seconds. Lassiter under pressure from Marquell Jackson. He's going to roll out the left. He slides down and, and slides and falls down. And Gonzalez, as you said, comes up and takes him out. So lost seven there, trying to just make something happen. He was getting pursued by Marquell Jackson. It really forced him out of his comfort zone and going to go down there. Clock still rolling. The change of possession. Finally stop it there, 629. Hey, guys, I'm going to tell you that the biggest – possession of this game was Chilton County's long drive that took up about eight minutes off the clock. Sure. And they didn't they were not able to produce points. If they're able to produce points, we're looking at a three or four point ball game right here and, it, and it, that that's right now is a difference maker. Well, in this I mean, game. you know, you a couple of plays here and there and you're looking at a situation where you've got you got a dangerous situation as Caleb just mentioned, Randy. So uh take over at the Chilton County thirty four yard line. See what the Wildcats can do. If they can score here, you can put the game out of reach pretty much. Shotgun formation going to hand off to Carl Russell up the middle, and he's hit at the line of scrimmage but falls forward for a couple of yards there, brings up second down. Same play we saw him pick up positive yards on this previous drive to start things off, but uh, they kind of know what's coming. We try the left side of the front. He does get ahead for two yards. Biggest things that clock's rolling. We'll go under six minutes to go here in the ball game, leading 23 to 13. Two timeouts left for both teams here on this synopsis. Second down and eight at the Chilton County 31. And off Carl Russell around the right side, and he's going to be hitting the backfield. Gets ahead to the line of scrimmage and maybe a half a yard, but that's it. But still, the woes of running this football consistently are there. The Wildcats just not able to get consistent push for four quarters on that offensive front, guys, and uh, cannot finish these these drives off and finish these games, 537, allow teams to continue to hang around. They'll go empty, actually they'll go three to the bottom, one to the top here on third and seven at the 32. Landon drops back to pass, he's under pressure. He's gonna go down back here at the 40 yard line. So I'll have to say this, that there's been a resurgence for Chilton County here in the second half both offensively and defensively, and 
And it's going to be fourth down in a, about 15 yards. So Wildcats going to have to punt the football, Randy. Trying to look for Gamble coming in. There he is. He's actually in the football game. But looking down the field, well defended back in the secondary. They're behind our receivers, not letting them get, not letting us catch up where we saw the touchdown here in the first half well, to Zay Stowe's. No give up in this Chilton County team. Jack Gamble, boy, he puts a big leg into it. Just going to hit it to eight. Roll inside the five down to three. Did a better job that time, Randy, not angling it so much, and the ball rolled dead. Somewhere around the, see where they said it rolled out. I was going to say it was touched originally up here at the seven yard line. It actually rolled to the three, but one of our players touched it at the seven. 439 to go in the ball game. Wildcats lead it by 10 over Chilton County here on homecoming night. And if you're Chilton County, you got to score quick. You got to figure out a way to get points. You guys, a two possession game. So anything here, a field goal touchdown, and then probably an onside kick. Try to get the ball back here with 439 to go, but a long way to go here as they start at their own seven yard line. Shotgun formation, gonna hand off left side. Pokey puts him down at the five. Man, what a play there. He ran into his own offensive lineman trying to get upfield, and Pokey finished him off from behind, Randy. He just makes a difference there in the middle. And when he can play the entire game and he can play the entire game with a with a lot of energy, it changes the whole dynamic down there, and we've seen that in the second half of the last couple of years with Pokey there at nose tackling. A good play by him, half yard loss, second down 11, we'll roll under four minutes to go in the ball game on this snap. Lasseter shotgun formation takes the snap, it's gonna be a run, option pitch to the right, and uh, comes up to the eight yard line. Had a chance for to put him down and able to make it right there, brings up third down. Gonzalez doing a good job taking the quarterback out right there. We have the safety uh, coming up to make a play on the running back. A little bit overrun there, but a good job by Zay Hunter to come across and make the stop. We'll give him, what, a three-yard gain there, Brett? Yeah. Third down and eight, 337 to go here in the football game. Wildcats lead by 10 points, 23 to 13. Really a tough situation for Chilton County as they are just not built to play from behind like they are having to right now. Really not much of a downfield just, passing yeah, game. Yeah, going to roll out to the left. Laster's in trouble. He's in the end zone. I think he went down for a safety. Yeah, they're going to give him forward progress. Whoa, Markwell man, Jackson. Tell you. And he Last, had, Laster's hurt, I think, Randy. He's been hit a lot here tonight. Yeah. And, uh, we've done a better job in the second half of putting pressure back there on him, containing him around the edge. And Gonzalez has really been all over the field I tell for you, the man, Wildcats if, tonight. That's a kid that can work on his passing game a little bit. He could, he could be deadly. I mean, he's a great athlete, obviously a threat to run the football, but he really struggles through the air. And, you know, everybody's got their positives and negatives. That kid right there could really, really become a true dual threat quarterback if he could work on his passing a little bit. Wildcats going to force a punt here with 2.38 to go in the ball game, up 10. Their punter will line up on the back line of the end zone. There's the snap, going to bring some pressure. He gets it off. Good kick. Wildcats didn't have anybody deep there. The ball will roll dead at the 43-yard line. Once again, want to thank Caldwell Electronics for sponsoring the second half here on Cherokee Road for over 35 years, the Lakes Complete Electronics Store for all your electronic needs. Go by and see Caldwell Electronics. Wildcats take over first and 10 at the Chilton County 43. Landon Cotney in the shotgun with trips down here to the bottom, one lone receiver to the top. Gonna fake the handoff, gonna throw it to Gamble over the middle, complete 35-30, runs over a defender down to the 28 yard line. So a good gain and a good first down, compliments of UAB Cardiology Associates and the Wildcats move the change here with 216. They're catching them off balance right there, expecting a run of course, and standing up and just throwing a quick strike to the 6'5", 220 pound senior H back and Jacoby Gamble, and he gets ahead, and he's done a majority of the yes. damage there receiving the football tonight. I think I got him down for five catches. He's had a great night here, the senior on homecoming. Handoff, Keaton Young went to the right and then cut back on a penalty play down to the 25-yard line, so picked up three yards. Going to be another holding call. I'm going to tell you, that was really a gutsy play call there by Coach Smith on first down with only 2.22 remaining in the game. Chilton County with only two timeouts. Yeah. And going in the air right there, an incompletion stops the clock. So a gutsy play call, but the Wildcats able to execute as they've really been able to do all night on the offensive side of the ball. Absolutely. 
155 to go here. Wildcats will be hit with a penalty. Go back to the 39-yard line on the holding call. First down 20 coming up for the Wildcats. Minute and 46 seconds coming up. Alpha agent Hunter Price post-game show, and then after that, the HSA Radio Network scoreboard show. Landon Cotney in the shotgun on first and 20. Wildcats up 10, 23-13. Going to throw it over the middle. Zay Stowe's in and out of his hands there. And at the 32-yard line, as Caleb said, that will stop the clock. Bring up second down and 20 with 1.30 to go on the, on the board here. 23-13, Wildcats lead it here and uh, really had that one drive, Randy, here in the second half. That's about it offensively. All they needed with the defense playing the way that they had, but like Caleb said and like I have, 15-plus plays, they get inside the five-yard line and can't score, and that's the difference in this football it game. It really is. Um, to start this second half. Well. But we have struggled mightily at times. as uh, Zay, Zay, Zay's gone down right here. Timeout on the field. We'll take a quick 8 in plumbing timeout with them. You're listening to the Wildcat Football Network. Call Alpha. Hunter Price is Lake Martin's Alpha agent for all your home, life, and auto needs. Hunter Price's team is dedicated to fitting your coverage needs no matter what the family needs are. With the strength of Alpha's full range of insurance products, Hunter can customize their plans to fit your needs. Hunter Price can also handle your commercial needs as well. For the best service in the Lake Martin area, call Alpha. Call Hunter Price at 256-377-4955. Big fall savings are here now, and time to save big from Glenn Smith Buick GMC in Opelika. Don't make a $5,000 mistake on your new GMC Sierra Crew Cab four-wheel drive. Get over $14,000 in discounts from Glenn Smith. Check out the all-new Buick SUV lineup of enclaves, Envisions, and Encores. We have the best selection in East Alabama. Glenn Smith Buick GMC in Opelika. On the lot or online at glennsmith.com and get ready to smile. Expected or not, the loss of a loved one is difficult. Put your family first by planning ahead. This is Joseph Dean, new owner of Alabama Funeral Homes and Cremation Centers. We are a full-service funeral home with an on-site crematory and cemetery. Whether your need is immediate or you would like to plan in advance, our experienced, compassionate staff can assist you in designing an enduring memorial experience, burial or cremation. Alabama Funeral Homes and Cremation Centers on Highway 280 and Camp Hill or online, alabamafuneralhomes.com. Skag, the toughest name in lawnmowers. Unmatched quality and performance for over three decades. The clear choice, the best mower money can buy for work or at home. Top lawn care professionals and discerning homeowners know that Skag means productivity and reliability. Every Skag mower is proudly built right here in the USA. Don't settle for anything less than simply the best. Scan. Satterfield Outdoor Living on Highway 280 in Alex City. Abernathy and Britton CPA of Alexander City is proud to support our Benjamin Russell Wildcats. Their hard work and dedication is the standard that Abernathy and Britton CPA strive for with our clients. Whether it's basic bookkeeping, payroll services, or tax planning and preparation for individuals and small businesses, we are here for you. John Abernathy and Tina Britton are available for all your accounting needs and give you the tools, reports, and knowledge to maintain all of your accounting needs. Go Wildcats and best of luck for all your team efforts. If you've been putting off that new heating and air unit in your home because of the upfront expenses, Williams Plumbing of Alexander City now has primary financing from Synchrony and can now install brand new heating and cooling systems with zero down, longer terms, and a competitive rate. Call Williams Plumbing at 256-329-8488 and get a free quote in terms and upgrade up to $35,000 in work with approved credit. Williams Plumbing stands behind their work with on-time affordable service for all your heating and air needs, as well as plumbing for zero down financing and great service. Williams Hey, you mind if I borrowed this for a sec? I just gotta look something up. Sure. Conjunctivitis. That's what I got. You know, pink eye, I just couldn't think of the real name for it. Thanks, man. When you want quick quality care, come to Russell Medical Urgent Care. We're open seven days a week and conveniently located behind the cancer center on the hospital campus. Russell Medical Urgent Care. When it's not an emergency, but it's urgent. Top Gun 
1, this is Tower. Termite Swarm season is here. Time to lock and load. Top Gun 1, over. Tower, this is Top Gun 1. I'm arming my state-of-the-art termite tech device that uses sonar technology to find termites in your home without going into your walls or floors. Roger that, Top Gun 1. You are clear to engage. For bond or service, call Top Gun Pest Control at 256-234-7375. With over 20 years of combined experience, our team can eliminate all pests from your home. Top Gun Pest Control, as we feel the tug to kill some bugs. Welcome back to the Wildcat Football Network. That's Zay Stowe's walking off the field unattended, so hopefully he's okay. I think that uh, he was hit in the midsection, probably knocked the breath out uh, before that play on that previous little quick post pattern, Brett. Yeah, um, he just kind of went down to his knees out here as he lined up on the outside. And so they'll help him out. And you can hear Terrell down here on the other side of the, the press box yelling for him to catch that football over the middle there. Hand off to Carl Russell up the middle of the 35 down to the 34. Actually, Keaton Young there running the football. Been used to Carl Russell just rumbling up the field tonight. And Keaton gets a good run there. 124, another timeout here for Chilton County. So they're down to one. 124 to go. Wildcats lead by 10, 23-13. And I'm going to tell you something. Ty Morrison, as Caleb Brooks said, has changed the culture over there in the county next to us. Uh, this is a – I'll be honest with you. When he got there, it was a soft, soft program. And uh, teams just running the score up, beating them up. This is not the case anymore. And it's a culture, man. And Ty Morrison took the culture from Benjamin Russell over there to – Chilton County, Caleb. Yeah, you know, and you're, when you get Coach Morrison, you're getting a really hungry coach. I mean, he told us numerous times when we'd be in meetings about having goals, and his goal is to be a college football head coach one day. And right now you're looking at a step for him becoming the yeah. Chilton County head coach, and eventually he wants to continue to move up in yeah. the high school ranks and get there one day. But he's a very hungry guy, and you can already tell just looking at their team, he's got more kids coming out to play. 20 more than last yeah, year. Yeah, which was something he told me that he was really working on in the offseason was getting people to come out. And he's really starting to turn this program around in the right direction. The largest 5A school by half a student, Tilton County. Third down and 20 for the Wildcats, actually about 16. Hand off up the middle to Carl Russell, and they'll call the timeout. Coach Morrison runs on. He's got that college feel to him, doesn't he? I mean, he is just animated the whole time and is, is, is jacked up, for lack of better terms, and stops the clock with a minute and 19 seconds to go. Thank you, Terrell. As Terrell Owens exits here and will head down to the sideline as uh, he has a couple of family members there, Randy, playing on this team tonight, and his nephew wear number 80. His last time you'll see that number worn by a Wildcat football player here. I want to kind of piggyback up, I'll, I'll piggyback off of what y'all said about Chilton County and uh, athletically, they got players and they got players there in 5A, Brett. Maybe they don't get to the next level this year, but if they stay in that classification and they keep these players rolling through that he has right now, he's going to have a real successful program. Look, it wasn't yeah. that long ago when Caleb was in high school that we had a Chilton County team in here in the second round that I think had one loss on the season. That's right. Oh, I mean, that was a great football team that came in here. Um, and then they dropped off tremendously after that, but so, working so their way back now. They, they've got the players. This is not like um, they've never been able to, to win there. I know that was kind of a little outlier for them. But they uh, had a good but, football team that year. And Tal's close right now. Yeah, he is. Hand off. No, Landon's going to pull it. And he's got a lot of room, 30, 25. Slides down right there. Gets close to the first down, but about three yards short. 12 yards there. I'm going to bring up. Not sure if Landon remembered it was fourth down right there. Yeah, but, you yeah. Know, sliding down. Had probably a chance at getting the first down. Sure. But late in the game right here, seems like we have the game in hand, probably wanting to protect himself a little yeah, bit, especially a, we'll with Carter it. Smith being out for the I was going to say, Caleb, you and I kind of looked at each other there, but you're already down a guy in the quarterback position. And Landon here, basically with the game in hand, men in 15 seconds trying to get a first down get a separated shoulder or something there. It's best to go ahead and take the safe play and give them the ball back to 20. Especially with who we have coming up here on the schedule yeah. with Opelika, Wetumpka, and Calera. Well, Wetumpka up 42-17 to 17 on Prattville tonight. Laster in open field 25 up to the 30-yard line. Randy, this Wetumpka team 
destroying Prattle down there tonight and really has destroyed everybody they played. Outside of Opelika, they won by the hair of their chin on that, that game as Opelika missed the field goal at the end of the game. But we Tumka really – you think losing J.D. Martin would be devastating. It really hadn't stopped them this Well, year. they've rolled a receiver that was special last year, and he's at quarterback and uh, talking, and I, I trust what Marte Wyckoff, our coach here, says, and he's watched a little film and been to watch him, and uh, he said, Randy, that, court, that quarterback they got this year, who was the receiver last year, he is special. He is. Uh, over 200 yards rushing in the night that he went over and watched him, and last year he made a lot of big plays. You know, we played them well, Brett. What did we lose? Uh, maybe by 14 no, points? No, it's 27-17. I mean, the, in the football game. And J.D. Martin has um, – Lost by 10 that night. But, you know, they had two linebackers. <laughs> it really made a ton of plays there in that game. And so. Smoke killed us. Oh, he did. Well, we had a play down here when we were only down, I think, three points. Yeah. On a fourth down or a third down. And we had him in the backfield. And he just broke two tackles and, and just out of sheer will. He's at Kentucky now. Chilton County, first down and 10, going to roll out, throw a pass out of bounds, incomplete. And Laster's a gamer, man. He is just back there on one leg, basically, 24 seconds to go in the ball game, second down and 10. But, Randy, you know, right there with them, a team that went, played for a state championship. So, um, but this this Wetumpka team, moving that quarterback over there, right, receiver over the quarterback, really has uh, not missed a beat. And looks to maybe make that deep run again in the playoffs. Have a chance. High snap. Laster hauls it in. Going to step up and throw a pass high and complete. He just really struggles throwing the football, especially on the run without his feet being set. But a very talented running quarterback that if he can hone that in and really start to learn how to throw the football could be extremely dangerous, Randy, for Tal. Morris. And they got good running backs back there with him. Good physical running backs, not the small scat back type. So they can play a physical brand of football if they match up well. He's our defense, little... I think our defense done a pretty good job here, especially following what the second drive of the football yeah. game. I'm going to tell you something, Randy. There's a sidearm throw pass tipped up. Mm. Wow. Almost intercepted and then called up here at the 45. My goodness. I tell you, just crazy. He slung that one sidearm, Freddie Kitchen style. <laughs> and then well, you Matt, know, Brent, he has a really strong arm. It's strong. I mean, he, I mean, he, strong. he has a strong – it's just a, it's it's a just weird inaccurate. motion. It's he inaccurate. throws kind of sidearm, and he really gets his hand under the ball, which causes the ball to sell. But to he's rise. got a very, very strong I arm. I mean, he's somebody – he's a junior for Tal Morrison, guys. So, he'll he'll move forward uh, into a senior year. And really a lot of young guys for Coach Morrison yeah. on this team. I mean, they, it's a team that he's going to be able to build with, and well, they're going to be scary thing. next year. I'd like to have a kid like, you know, if you're a coach, you – Got a kid as big as him, as athletic as him. You work with that. Shotgun snap here with seven seconds. You're going to load up and throw it down the far sideline and pass his <laughs> almost <laughs> intercepted. Hey, it just did hit it Jacoby was Gamble. Too perfect it, for him. it was just threw it to Jacoby down there at the ten, Randy. <laughs> it was almost like a like a punt, and he dropped it. So uh, Jacoby had a sure pick, <laughs> and, uh, and and it fell to the ground. Two seconds left. Third down and ten. Wildcats going to win this on homecoming. Proved to four and two, Randy. Going back to what you said about the defense, played well enough to be undefeated right now from a defensive standpoint. Yeah, war, have wore ourselves out to, to, to finish off football games in the two that we've lost and uh, let that one get away from us a little bit last week. But offense was okay tonight. We He's still got, got a strong it. arm. He caught it, Danny, and dropped it out here around the 20 yard line. That's going to end the game. Wildcats win it 23 13 here on homecoming night. We want to thank Terrell Owens and Chad Wilson for coming up here joining us, and we want to thank our, everybody that was part of the homecoming festivities, and congratulations to Carly Royster. We'll take a break here, and coming back, we'll have the Alpha Agent Hunter Price postgame show. You're listening to the Wildcat Football Network. Mitchell & Company, located on Highway 22 West here in Alexander City, across from Holly's Home Furnishing. Diane and Terry Mitchell have been in this business for 40 plus years. And when it comes to men's sport coats, suits, pants, shirts, ties, they can fix you up where you're going to look better than ever. Fabric, they carry their own fabric for making clothes just for you. Alterations just for you at Mitchell & Company, Highway 22 West in Alexander City. My name is Doug Roberts. I'm a chiropractor here in Alexander City. Oftentimes people will say, hey, our school system is great. But then you have to see what they're producing to find out if that's really true or if that's just something that's being marketed or sold. For us, the products of the Alex City School, Tallapoosa County school system, 
were such that we were extremely comfortable moving and transitioning our children from homeschooling into the, into the public education system here. Lex Wedgworth has been the most trusted pest control company for a generation, and now we're proud to announce our new name, EnviroCare. You can expect the same high standards for all your pest control needs, and EnviroCare's exclusive Centricon Termite Colony Elimination System that provides the industry standard to protect your home or business. The EnviroCare Centricon Termite Protection protects your home year-round. Call the professionals of EnviroCare throughout Central East Alabama. Call for a free estimate. Nobody cares like EnviroCare. The next generation of full pest control for your home business. Mike Bradbury has served our community needs with the best durable medical equipment and respiratory care. Now Mike has expanded his medical equipment services to form Southern Patient Care. Southern Patient Care is still home owned and ready to serve all your medical needs. And our commitment is to provide skilled, qualified and professional consultation and set up with 24 hour service and all medical claims handled. Visit Mike at the all new Southern Patient Care, the new name in the most dependable products and service located on Airport Road in Alexander City. Water and plumbing are far too powerful to fight alone. If you have a problem with your plumbing or your water, you're going to call the professionals at Armstrong Holly Plumbing, 256-392-3809. That's 256-392-3809. Armstrong Holly Plumbing does it right the first time, and they guarantee it. Clog drains, leaky faucets, or replacing old fixtures, it doesn't matter. Call Armstrong Holly Plumbing now, your hometown plumbing company for over 10 years. If it's leaking, stinking, or not draining, call Armstrong Holly Plumbing. Everybody wins at Bice. Right now, you can lease a Jeep Wrangler 4x4 Unlimited Sport for just $349 a month. Listen up. Or how about a Ram 1500 Crew Cab leased for only $289 a month. Get in the game and score B. New Jeep Compass Latitudes are on the lot and lease for as low as $229 a month. No matter which play you choose, you're always a winner at Bice. Shop 24-7 at BiceChryslerDodge.com. Grace's Flowers in Alexander City on Hillaby Street has been making people happy for decades. Susie Kelly and her friendly staff continue that same great tradition. Grace's Flowers is a full-service florist for all occasions, funerals, weddings, and other special events. In addition to flowers, Grace's has a great gift selection as well. To send a smile or encouragement, call 234-4238 and Grace's Flowers will deliver. Grace's Flowers on Hillaby Street in Alexander City. Caldwell Electronics, your local Radio Shack dealer. They've got car stereos, amplifiers, and speakers from Pioneer, MTX, and Kicker. Boat radio and speaker installation also available. And introducing pontoon boat LED lighting installation, interior and exterior. Caldwell Electronics is also the number one place in town to purchase Page Plus wireless service. With smartphone brands from Apple to Samsung to Motorola. Don't forget the large selection of computers from Acer and IBM. And full service computer repair with virus removal and screen repair. Let the team at Caldwell Electronics upgrade your electronics today. Here in the Alpha Agent Hunter Price post-game show, the Wildcat play of the game brought to you by Kelly's Heating and Air. When luck is not enough, call Kelly's, get the job done right the first time. Guys, the Wildcat play of the game, in your opinion. A deep post pattern to Zay Stowe's for a touchdown. Um, he's able to beat the defender, the secondary, the last 10 to 15 yards of the pattern, run by him by five yards, landing timing, um, kind of looks away from two other receivers and gives Zay an opportunity to make a play on it. For a big touchdown catch, and that really broke things loose. Congratulations to Landon Cottney and Zay Stowes on connecting for the Wildcat play of the game brought to you by Kelly's Heating and Air. Now over to the Dark Insurance player of the game. Don't be in the dark about your insurance needs. Call Dark Insurance today. Your Dark Insurance player of the game tonight. Yeah, the player of the game, I'm going to give him. I gave it to him halfway last week, and I'm going to give it to him full time tonight. That's Gonzalez. To me, um, he's making the biggest difference out there defensively. Really and we're is. giving him a chance to, to blitz off the edge a lot because he's good at that. Yeah, he can get back there. But, Brett, he, he plays the entire game. He plays the entire game with a full motor. Uh, makes a lot of plays out there in the backfield. and um, He's good. Gonzalez has been a good one, and he's playing better and better as the season goes on, and we need him to continue to do that. Absolutely. Congratulations to uh, Gonzalez there on making or being named the Dark Insurance Player of the Game. Your Alex City Foot Specialist replay this week as you watch on WAXC TV. Your feet or your foundation giving them the proper care they deserve at Alex City Foot Specialist. <laughs> Um, the the replay. What do you want to What do you want to look at here? As uh, as you want, as you look back on this football game. You know, there was a really big hit that Brett Pitts put back here on the quarterback, Absolutely. and uh, I think Brett. You know, he he's a lot like uh, Wilson Hayes. Um, 
Brett's played well, and he even played well last year, but now I think he's very confident. And when he's confident, now he's putting big licks. I mean, I'm talking like knockout blows on quarterbacks. Just a good night overall for Benjamin Russell High School as they improve to 4-2. The Opelika Bulldogs come into town next week, and the Wildcats able to knock them off last year. They remember that. And uh, – one and four uh, coming into this game, but you can absolutely erase that record. It's one of the best football teams in the state in 6A, and uh, they'll come in here uh, and they'll 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 be as physical as anybody we play. Randy, moving on forward to the rest of the season, and hopefully we are too. Um, you know, I'm not going to sit up here and preach because if you can't get up, uh, Coach Sav, who was here tonight, used to call it Bulldog Week. We had right. banners all around the locker room. They hated us, and we hated them right back, and that didn't matter what sport we played in. And football and any sport's a lot funner whenever you, a lot more fun when you've got an opponent across the way that you just don't like. And right. we never liked one another. And I got friends over there now that if I had to compete with them in – I'll get texts this week from guys. In chess, I'd be wanting to fight with them That's because right. I, I, thought, I thought that poorly of them when they were in high school. <laughs> so I, I say all this meaning if the kids in this locker room can't get up for – Oh, but like of them, boy, we're in trouble. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Uh, it'll be a tall task. They're a good football team, very, very deep. Uh, but uh, it's always a fun night uh, when the Bulldogs come to town. That's going to wrap it up here on the Alpha Agent Hunter Price uh, post game show. Uh, again, uh, we thank everybody for listening here on Home. C- Congratulations to Carly Rolster being named the uh, homecoming queen tonight. Congratulations to all the maids and uh, all of the. Uh, uh, nominees for Homecoming Queen. Thank you to Terrell Owens for coming up here during the third quarter. Thank you to Chad Wilson, his brother, uh, not able to make it with him, but uh, just a phenomenal success in Nashville with his music career. Thanks to him and uh, Coach Sal and Alvin Briggs from the AHSA. Always fun to have those guys up here as well. Next week right here at the Sportsplex for our final home game of this season. How quickly this season has gone by uh, with uh, the Wildcats six weeks in. Uh, with one off week sandwiched in here in these last four games. Hope like the Bulldogs will be here. The pregame show, I'll be in the locker room with Coach Kevin Smith on the Russell Dewitt Center countdown to kickoff at 6.30. The Karen Chanel State Farm Insurance first half kickoff will be at 7 here, uh, Wildcats and Opelika Bulldogs. Your final again from the Sportsplex on homecoming night, Wildcats 23, Chilton County 13. For our entire Wildcat Network crew, Justin Mosley, our videographer and producer. Caleb Brooks, our statistician tonight and my broadcast partner. Randy Lee, I'm Brett Pritchard saying we've enjoyed it. We hope you have. See you next week.